Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's been a long time. Been a long time. It's been a week. We want to start with this. We need love. We need love. We need love. Yes. Let me hear my air horn up in this piece. Oh, yeah. Let me turn this down a little bit. Get my, get my groove. Hey, how you fellas doing? Everybody good? Good, good. Who was outside back then? Let me check. <laughs> well, you're not, not I. Yeah, not I, I don't think. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> How about you, Maul? No. I, mean, I was outside, not by myself. But, when I, but y'all don't miss the parties that played this type of music is what I'm saying. That's what Rory and his Ducey friends ruined. <laughs> we, like, when parties, we, still, we still do the you know the old school low set now for 30 minutes though and my old ass get up for 30 minutes and then it's over that's it yeah. that's how I mean, you got anyway when yeah. you're old come on yeah. Mac <laughs> <laughs> listen man the kids be 27 in that party they can only they only know 30 minutes of old hey, low, school records you can, <laughs> hey low we can get a little of this to the trap karaoke yeah <laughs> come on low alright that's, that's still fire <laughs> that's yeah. fire rest in peace Alexander O'Neill uh, alright so we rocking let me hit my ear horn out here <laughs> Oh, that's whoa! Where the fuck is up, <laughs> Parks? We in a race. Oh, no, jo- no, no, no! There we bun. go. All right, here no, we go. Well, we now we are here. Uh, 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 I'm lost because we don't usually record today. But welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode 156. I'm your host, Joe Button. I want to shout out to the YouTube viewership. I want to shout out to all my friends for joining me: Parks, Mall, Rory, Erickson, Savon. Unexpected on a Monday, but everyone is here. I want to thank you guys and hit the round of applause button for y'all. That's number two, whatever number it is. All right, enough applause. Number three, I want to shout out to everybody on the, at the YouTube viewership. Uh, hit the subscribe button wherever the fuck it is. I, that's got to be important because everybody in a YouTube video says that. So I'll throw it out there. And last <laughs> but certainly not least, shout out to everybody who listens and enjoys this podcast while you are at work. Gentlemen, how is everyone feeling? I love Monday. I love Monday. So when I walked in, I, I told Parks I love Monday. He loves Monday. Savon loved Monday. It was great energy until Rory walked in told him I hate Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> this is the well, vibe. Well, this goes back to the conversation Mo was trying to say. Y'all are artists, and Monday don't really mean shit to you. The rest of us working class people, Monday is the day back to work. No. Mo made that argument and has never worked. I didn't want to blow his spot up, but how the fuck would he know? He I arguing did, for work. the working man. I have worked. What are you talking about? Clock in? Yes. When? When? Years ago, but I've worked. <laughs> Where? I had a couple jobs. That boys club is not around anymore. What are you talking about boys club? Hey, yo. You don't work at the boys club? <laughs> no. Mo just seemed like you would have worked at the boys club. <laughs> <laughs> at the Y? Yeah, one of those. <laughs> like worked a, at a hospital? A cool job where you could sling and still work. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the kids you were. You worked at a high school? Hospital. A hospital. Tell me more about that. No. <laughs> uh, all right, so everybody's feeling good and feeling great. I'm good. All right, good. Yeah, I'm glad. Me, I'm saying you had to hit me. It's my yo. We need to record. I ain't understanding <laughs> shit. <in the> text. <laughs> but I was like, man, what time? Yo, man? All right, whatever. Joe, Joe, fucking text me at like 8 a.m. with the yo with mad O's. When can we get on a call, my that- Joe has never said that to me, so I'm thinking, oh shit, maybe we got the bag. <laughs> Yo, you maybe know, some money came in. You know what's funny? The <laughs> second I sent that text to Rory, I said, ew, I never talk like that. <laughs> when can we get on a call? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, Joe Button? I don't ever want to get on a call. There was at least 17 O's. You know what? Yo. I was in the bathroom when I texted that, too. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you waited till late on in the day to text me. I'm never texting you from the bathroom. Yeah, please. Rory has <laughs> some type of professionalism in him. <laughs> I could talk to him from the bathroom. Uh, That's but, the professional area to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kinda, yeah. You know the bed. No, why, you know I was in there. The bathroom has is the office when you have a newborn. <laughs> That's the place to hide. <laughs> yeah, you have the place to hide when you want to dump them with your spouse. Uh, Sin asking, "Why are you taking a shit every five minutes, Joe? You no, might have a problem." She be in there with me. <laughs> Lex be on his own. <laughs> uh, so anyway, listen, we're having way too much fun at the start of this podcast because this is a very serious podcast. Is it? No, it's not, not really. No, because it snows no in April. <laughs> it's not. None of these podcasts are ever that serious. Word. Good have good. we ever had a serious podcast? No, no I don't think so. Not at all. Why did people think, think that this one would be serious? Is that what the streets were saying? Yeah. 
Is that oh, what damn. the streets were saying? <laughs> Yo, you know what? <laughs> None of you niggas are in the streets. <laughs> Yo, Mo, That's you fine. don't know where I'm at ever. I know exactly where you're at. No, you at. don't. The whole world knows I where you're at. I could be in the streets, my you nigga. Instagram every hour from your, the no, same spot. <laughs> Indian style in front of your laptop playing music crazy loud. Or eating Chef Mike's grits. Is that his name, Mike? No, Mo. What's his Chef name? John. Chef John. Chef John. It's not Chef Mike. <laughs> Chef John. Me. <laughs> Who the fuck? Mad, is Chef mad Mike? I, I thought his name was Mike. My bad. Chef no. John. My bad. Not not Chef Mike. Um, <laughs> that don't even sound dope. Chef I'm not hiring. I'm not hiring no chef named Mike. <laughs> Why not? I don't even want friends named Mike. <laughs> I just started talking to my cousins named Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just sounds like you. You mean trouble? At some point in the relationship, trouble will trouble will arise. Yeah, I agree. All right, so fine. It's, it's not a serious uh, podcast, but a lot of people in my mentions, for some strange reason, all week were saying, oh, can't wait for the Joe Budden podcast to come out this week. I have no idea why. They say that every week. I, I'm about to say, it'll rain and be like, can't wait for them to talk about the weather. Word. Yeah, y'all are so phony. Y'all know they want us to talk. Y'all want to hear them. They want to hear us talk about fab. You said it, not I. Oh, uh, look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> look at Maul. <them> <laughs> look at Maul. I didn't say anything. I didn't say I said look at you, not okay. listen to you. I'm just saying look at Maul. I'm looking at you. Okay. All right, so. Oh, so let me announce. Let me announce before we get to this. <laughs> you know what I'm About I thought, You know what? Oh. Yeah, I thought, no. I thought I was going to cancel this week. Because of, uh, of the yo. Oh, yeah. The shit I talked to y'all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, we can't cancel this week. They, they would kill us. They would just look oh, away. Oh, yeah, this week specifically? So I want to um, I want to announce that I have made an update to the soundboard because I do anticipate a lot of awkward, sil- awkwardly silent moments in this podcast. And contrary to what Black Twitter said all weekend, I thought that the little white yodeling kid really did a phenomenal job in Walmart. <laughs> I loved it. I didn't see why everyone was laughing. So I thought that was the perfect soundbite to play. When Rory and Maul start protecting their political connects in this conversation. <laughs> you got them too. Uh, well, we're going to talk about You it. go on record all the time. Uh, First of all, there's one have, rapper that you'll never say you anything bad about. You have way more political connects That's than That's what I'm I saying. Do. Y'all got Joe all the way fucked up. That is not true. What? You don't think you have more political connects than I do? No, no, nigga. You're crazy. The little white boy yodeling is the signaling of no. No, okay. Well, I think Joe has ruined any political connect he did have at one time, and he still has more political connects than me. <laughs> I think that kid is mad appropriate. I want to dig into those lyrics because he definitely wiped a hoe. Yeah, but you could wife a hoe when you like live in the middle of the country. And when you're like nine. It was dirt roads. And when you're nine. There's only <laughs> but four girls in the whole town. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. They're going to get around. Maul, tell me why you think I got so many political connects. The only person that I'm connected to in this is is fabulous. I'm talking about, no, the way from <laughs> and And the Joe Budden podcast curse continues. It does. <laughs> because we definitely have been talking about being, like when you use the word fabulous, mm-hmm. and then everything that... Ha- Commenced from Th- there. That was fabulous. Unfabulous. <laughs> right. Nothing about this week has been fabulous. Well, for me, I had a great week. <laughs> <laughs> I, had I had a, a fabulous yeah, week. I had a great week. I, don't... I had a good week, too. Yeah. Now, I don't know if other people have had a great week, but, you know. Um. So, where do we begin here? Well, no, let's get to my political connects, because I don't have any. You do. You have political connects. In this situation, What? No, I'm in general. I'm not just watching. Just this period, yeah, like in general. Real people in, in the industry yeah, that. Just, yeah. All right, I guess I can't argue that. Yeah. I do have industry relationships that I, I don't protect them, though. Yeah, you kind of massage them a little bit. You keep them in keep, a good keep space. Them at bay. I, I was signed You're to, learning to do that. Before I, you didn't I was give a fuck. signed to Def Jam. I still beef with Def Jam to this day. I was signed to Amalgam Digital. I still beef with Amalgam <laughs> Digital to this day. I was signed to E1. I still beef with E1 to this day. <laughs> I was signed to Empire. I'm together. signed to Empire right now. They're waiting on an album, <laughs> and I'm signed. <laughs> and I'm signed to Shady. And no, nobody on Shady speaks to me besides Royce. What political relationships do I keep in massage? And those aren't your only political. Uh, Savon Erickson. <laughs> Complex is not talking to me. Like, what the fuck is <laughs> the fuck is Maul talking about? You protect your political connections. Safari. Hey Savon, pull up political connection and read it to yourself. <laughs> 
Hey, the way Safari got uh, robbed at gunpoint. Did you hear about that? That mm -hmm. that story just broke two seconds ago. I saw Angie Martinez talking about it. And he was crying on the interview. Uh, wait, he did an Angie interview after he got robbed? This just happened like a few seconds ago. And that's the only reason that I, that uh, if you're wondering, that I, I don't like recording on Mondays because I feel like so much news breaks on Tuesday or Monday night. Mm. <laughs> well, and I, Wednesday I, morning because we always... Miss and Wednesday That's morning, true. but I didn't think any and story. Thursday evening, <laughs> and, and then Friday. sometimes and on Friday, Friday. <laughs> and then Saturday. News always yeah. breaks. Yeah, the weekend you got to get the weekend news too. <clears throat> um, so I, I didn't, I didn't think that any story would break to be bigger than the one that unfortunately we have to discuss somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, now, how do we discuss this? So we'll get into Safari later. Okay, we, we can talk about that. I'll show you the clip. Um, so unless you've been under a rock, I'm sure by now you have heard the the news that. Uh, there are there's a court date for Fab. Charges are pending. Uh, I think the charges are assault. What are the charges? Because I don't want to be I don't I don't want to say this wrong. Was it aggravated assault? Yeah. Terroristic I threats. I know that one was for sure confirmed was terroristic threats. But I don't know if he's been uh, charged with any domestic violence or any battery. Which I okay. always found was a funny word for, for that. Okay, so 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 this is how I feel. Let, let's get into this and let's stop tippy-toeing around shit because I already feel like all of the New York media, at least, will tippy-toe around this. And that's the conversation Roy and I were having uh, before you got here, Maul. Do, well, do you I think, think that this story is being blanketed at all? Not that it's being blanketed, but it's kind of like, I, I don't think there's enough information out yet. And this is the I'm, part where I'm going to get I mean, really we seen angry. I mean, we've seen a video of, you know, a lot of back and forth yelling and things like that. But aside from that, what else do we have? I don't. I haven't been honestly been. All I saw was the video. I don't know what charges were brought up. I don't know if Fab was arrested or not. I don't know any of that. I just saw a video because everybody was sending a video to my phone, and that was it. Um, the story reads that Fab did turn himself in. He was processed and released, and now there's a court date. Um, that's how that goes in New Jersey. That's what happened to me in New Jersey. Um. Uh, these charges in New Jersey and these charges in New York, you know, they, they, they go very different. They go very different. And the charges are? In New Jersey. But he's being charged with what? Aggravated assault, terroristic threats. That's all I know for now. Say, Vaughn, pull up whatever he's being charged with. <laughs> and then read it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, thoughts. thoughts on the video. You know, before we All get right. into that, let me, let, me, let, me, let me say where I stand. Let me say where I stand here. Fab, Fab, Fab is... A friend of mine. Um, so this will be difficult to cover somehow. Still, I'm going to attempt to cover it without talking directly or personally about Fab or Emily. I would like to allow them their privacy. Uh, well, as much privacy as they could have at this time. Uh, and I would just like to be mindful of the fact that when cases are open, uh, anything said in the media... Uh, anything spoken about, you know, you, you tend to help the police and help the people involved uh, do their job. So I just want to wait until everything is done before we get there. But you know what my stance is on domestic violence. I do have a lot of I do have a lot of experience with domestic violence. Actually, before I get into fab, that's the part I'm, I was mad at a little bit. Why didn't my name get brought up on Saturday night? <laughs> well, anytime <laughs> yeah, but that, something no. happens, you're going to get brought up. You get brought up when they're not even talking about yeah, but I, but that's not <laughs> just I don't, refresh your mentions right now. I'm sure you'll find something. Okay, so let me say my stance on domestic violence for anybody who is unaware. I think that men who hit women are scum, and I think that women who lie about men hitting them are scum. It's really just that simple for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and and I and fair. that that view doesn't change contingent upon who we are talking about. Now. I'm with Maul. We have yet to see a video of Fab hitting anyone. I will say I where mean, where it's good and where it's bad for Fab with that video is it's all obviously bad. it's a bad video. It's he bad. was yeah, it's being everything. very threatening, and she looks very shook. Like there had been some physical harm, but if you look at her in the video, I don't know if his lawyer can spin that, but she doesn't look like she had been harmed recently in that video. I'm only going to look at this through the, eyes of the, through the here. eyes of the law. And, and before I get to that, let me let me get to why I was mad with my name being thrown in here. And that's why we got to be really careful about the court of public opinion. 
Because I didn't hit a chick not one of them times that they were saying I was hitting chicks. <laughs> not a what? once. Not a once. But boy, did that police report read bad. Mine. I'm not talking about Fabs. Right. Before I, before I ever read Fabs, uh, I said to Sin, this police report is going to read really bad because newsflash people, police reports read bad. Yeah. And that's not to say that bad shit didn't occur. Right. But in my experience, boy, those police reports add some sauce. <laughs> in my police report, they said, I, I won't even repeat some of them things, but I gasped for air like, oh, <gasps> <laughs> that's horrible. So that's, that's my stance on that. Uh, also, as somebody who has gone through this, I mean, shit, I was suicidal. <laughs> shit. That shit is no, is no joke or no game. And that's why my conversation with R- Rory was about this story being blanketed. Because how this story is unfolding and how mine unfolded, a little different. True. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, when, uh, if we're going to have an honest conversation, then let's have one. America is about business. I'm not sure that business really cares about women and black people and gay people the way that we would like them to. (laughs) Stop me when I'm saying something wrong. No, no, I'm on board. Yeah, you follow me here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I watched the footage from the Fab Kiss concert. Did y'all? No. I did. I saw a few clips. Wait, what happened? And then Cobb was going on a long Twitter rant about how Hot 97 should be responsible for throwing it. They were on the bill. It was presented by Hot 97. Oh, they had a show this weekend. At Terminal 5. The next, uh, the day the video came out, there was a show at Terminal 5. Oh, I didn't know that. With, yeah, that Hot 97 presents. And he performed. They performed. Yeah, both of them. Oh, so he's not in jail. No, no he's not in jail. No, no, oh, no, no, okay. no. No, he's not in jail. Well, that's the difference between New York and New Jersey. In New Jersey... If you go, and I'm and Fab is known or in New Jersey, so right. I mean, you, you, there's a charge, you go there, you, they process you, you bail out, and now you have your court date. Okay. And New Jersey deals with it in court. So whenever this court date is, if they both show up in court to proceed, cool. And even if she doesn't show up in court, and again, I only know this because I went through it, I'm not in read up on it. If she doesn't show up, New Jersey is still going to ha- hold that case four times. And if she don't show up four times, they'll throw it out. Nobody is playing with domestic violence. Right. They're not playing that. In New York, you're going to jail. But he was able to do that show. See, me, uh, Shorty went and fa- fouled in New-, in New Jersey and then crossed the bridge and fouled in New York. Mm. So now you can't travel. I was going to say, yeah. Then Fab wouldn't have been able to do that, that show. That show would not have happened then. But let me not get off track here. Do you guys uh, hold Hot 97 culpable at all for still throwing that show? Like, tell me what the procedure should be. Should should everyone go on with business as usual, except for Fab? Except for Fab. Well, I mean, at, at the time that the show was, what information was out? The whole video was The out. video and the charges. Specifically the video. It may have been too late to cancel. I don't know. I don't not, know. Not that it's too late to cancel because you can cancel a show anytime before the artist is on the stage. Even when the, the artist is in the building, shows have been canceled before. But I mean, I don't know because he, it's a pretty crazy with fee. The, with, with the video, it was you know it was it was arguing. It wasn't no physical you know altercation. It wasn't nobody being hit on on video, right? So I mean, do you cancel the show because a fa- family was having an argument? I don't know if you cancel it. I don't know if that's warrants you to cancel the show. I mean, it probably would have been in good taste for them to cancel the show. Because in, of the argument. In, in all fairness. No, because of the charges and everything like that. They should have canceled the show. They probably should have canceled the show. Okay. Yeah, so the charges so more that, so I could see I could see them canceling the show for charge. Not for the video. The, the pro- when I when I was going through this, I would I I had I was innocent, so I was acting innocent and it came off arrogant and it came off There's no way you can act. It when charges like that come up against you, you just Got to be quiet. That, that goes back to what I said about even when you're accused of certain things, when you're found not guilty, people will still always still the stigma look at you like, you know, like people still say call Kobe a rapist. You know what I'm saying? Like people still refer to Kobe as a rapist. Like I've heard people in conversation like, yeah, he raped. I'm like, when did he ever rape? Like he was never convicted of rape. 
So that that just it, you know when you your oh that was is, the point I was getting to with me being mad that my name is always lumped up yeah when you I went to court <laughs> yeah but it, it doesn't matter once your name is associated with something like that yeah guilty not guilty you will always be classified as that when you're a certain person even if you're a regular civilian like if you if a dude is you know accused of being a child molester and he never was convicted of molesting children. Every time he walks on the block somewhere, people gonna always be like, that's the molester right there. Ebro got on the radio this morning and tap danced all around that shit. What did well, he say? Well, again, it's, you know, a lot of people don't know how to talk about it because there's not much information available. No, let's keep it up. Let's call a spade a spade. It doesn't look good. Niggas like fab. Yeah. And that, I, that, I, I'm that's not gonna lie. That, that's important. No, that's important. That's I'm, important. I'm Let's a, not overlook I'm a that. Huge, I'm a, I, I was hated when I went through it. Yeah, no, I'm a huge fan of Fab, and it was it was disappointing to even hear this about him because Fab is 100%. always so cool. You know what I'm saying? Is this Fab was the last person I thought with name would be in something like this because he's his entire career he's just been a cool the coolest dude in the room. You know what I mean? Like you've ne- I've never even seen that was the most I've ever seen Fab even like really move or yeah, raise, yeah. raise his voice. That's even. what I'm that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you know I've what? never I seen never Fab. Seen like Fab like and then, he's yeah, always I don't, the coolest cat in the room. I don't want to sound ignorant, right? Because how does someone look that beats up their yeah, you don't significant really other? It's you not a it, oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a it's not a look. Yeah. I, the fab I know I've, I've never heard it I've never seen Like it just Cool, calm, and collected always Right So I had to really watch That video a lot And in watching it a lot um, First of all You know what And this is not In defense of fab This is speaking From my experience Again I'm, let me keep Qualifying with that uh, Anytime a woman Or babies are screaming It's oh, bad it, Yeah it's bad I don't care what's happening Mm-hmm. That is a bad optic. <laughs> you could be totally right. If there's a woman screaming or a baby screaming, this is not going to go well. That's one. Two, it seemed like he had a lot of that energy for the father. Mm-hmm. Not really him. Well, let's not say that. He no, took a I'm, few I'm steps only towards talking her about and... what we saw. He, he did. I'm not going to say that he was going toward her to beat her to I'm fuck not, up. I'm not saying that at all. Oh, you know what? That's my other point in watching that video. God damn security is important, man. A round of applause for security. I'm going to give a round of applause for security because people have no idea how important security is. 50 Cent said a long time ago when he was beefing with everybody in New York and niggas was calling him pussy for running around with security. 50 said... People are, people are saying that I'm pussy for running around with security, but security is there to protect them from me, not the other way around. That was true. Well, I'm not saying it was true, but that is true. Security's job is to defuse, period. It's not just to protect the, it's to protect everybody. Right. Thank God security was there. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, that would have went totally. Security different. stood in front of the dad. Security stood in front of Fab. I didn't have security around. <laughs> no, I, I just think that that went. I mean, I don't want to sound insensitive, but that could have gone a different way. That's all. I'm, it's all. I'm, it's my only point about the security. Um. So now what? I mean, I the mean, court date is soon. So that's. I mean, gonna, for me, it's just like I said again. It's disappointing, man, because Fab is one of the few artists that I I really look at and. You know, whenever you talk about, you know, I'm a proud New Yorker. So whenever you talk about New York, Fab you is proudly people, mentioned whatever. Fab, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, for, for that to happen, you know, it's disappointing. Uh, and it's, you know, uh, again, we, we don't have much information. Yeah, so we reserve. We yeah, reserve so I can't. Judgment, yeah. But, you know, it, like I said, man, I'm just. If it's true, it's extremely disappointing. It's extremely disappointing. And extremely disappointing. And sad, I don't even man. I don't even care what it's about. Like, I'm seeing a lot of people like, oh, what is it about? It doesn't even matter. Yeah, like, there's never. I, let me be clear on my stance. There's never a reason to physically assault or physically beat a woman. I don't care what it is. I have. I look at myself. I have so much self control. Like there's. I don't think there's anything a woman could ever do that would make me put hands on her. Other than like, if you assault my child or abuse my like, if a babysitter is on camera beating the shit out of my child or something like that, then I could like really see myself hurting a woman. But other than that. I can't. I, that's just me. I can't see myself. I can't. I can't bring myself to that point because I know that's to me hitting a woman is like hitting a child. Like I know a woman can't beat my ass, so it's like why do I feel like I have to put my hands on this woman? 
Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know, and don't get me don't get me wrong. I know some women are very loose with their hands, and they, you know, they can they can they assault men and they hit men. It happens all the time. Outside of, you know, tussling or just grabbing a girl up, I can never physically hit a woman. Like I can't. I'm, I'm not saying I wouldn't grab a woman or hold a woman down and restrain a woman from hitting me, but physically putting my hands on a woman and swinging on her, I could, I could never do that. Like I have way too much self. I will remove myself from whatever situation I'm in before that happens. Like. To me, that's just me. So if this is true or whatever happened, and it's extremely disappointing because Fab is one of the few people that I really look at and I salute because he just for years has always been a cool cat, has always held his carried himself well, and he's like I'm on here saying it. To me, he has one of the best rap careers prototypically. Like he's not a mega star, but he's been so consistent in his career and so visible and so relevant for so many years. Like the lifespan of rappers is what maybe three years. It is three to four years, yeah. Fab has been relevant for over 12 years. I mean, like, if it's not music, it's fashion. If it's not fashion, it's... He's always in the mix. Fab's name is always we're going on in the 20, mix. We're going on 20 years since that Fab Nori freestyle over the Money Power Respect right. beat debut. Was 99? Right. Yeah, that was 99. Yeah. So, you know, as a New Yorker, Fab is New York. You know what I mean? Like, he's the dude that is like... You know the the cookie cutter New York guy, like cool guy in the room. You know what I'm saying? So if for this to happen to Fab, and this is mean, like I said, we don't have the information. Mm-hmm. It's disappointing, but you know, just prayers to the family, man, and just hopefully they can have some privacy and get through this. Yeah, em- Emily made her page private. Uh, Fab has not been posting anything, uh, and I would assume it's time to it's time to lay low. What what is, what does this do for for Fab's career? I, I think either way with that video, it's affected. Even if I think some he, shit comes out, that I think it he wasn't had true. music coming. I don't doubt it, but that's definitely going to be pushed for some time. I don't see Fab doing anything in 2018. What does Paul Rosenberg say? Is he on Def Jam? Yes. Uh, it's going to be tough. He can't. It's I mean, gonna be Fab tough has been him. working outside of that label again until until career. there's more information. What can you say? Uh, I don't think anybody says anything until more information is available. Because, again, the video is family arguing. You know what I mean? What was said is, you know, what was said. I, I, We all come from those families. We have get-togethers, you know, uncles that don't like each other. Shit gets crazy. Things are said. That was just family having a dispute, and it was recorded and put out to the world. That's the, See, that's the problem with this era. Everything is put on a platform to see. She was recording it. Yeah, it, it depends on the situation. She, she was recording it. Well, I was someone was, add, someone was in that crib doing that. If it couldn't be was, Emily. She was outside. My guess was her assistant or somebody along those lines was doing yeah, that. Yeah, but that's that's a good thing in a way because if something were to happen, then... Then you want to record No, I'm it. not saying it's a problem. I'm right. just saying for it to be out in the public and on the public platforms is the problem. The rec- right. uh, somebody recording is what saved, saved my ass. But let me tell you, I had a, re- a recording proving my innocence to a T and the, 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 the DA didn't give a fuck. And that's that's the thing. See, in, in New Jersey, if if no one goes forward with this case, it'll be over, and that will be the end of it. If this were in New York and nobody was going forward, the state, state is immediately up. picking that up, and they're gonna try to fry your ass whether they got a witness or not, and then they're gonna try to coerce the witness. <laughs> like it get wild over there in New York. Um. So I'm with Maul, man. Prayers to everybody involved. That's the first thing I did when I read about this story. I prayed. Uh, I prayed because it's unfortunate. It came at a really unfortunate time. Easter, you want to be, I mean, you want to be, have your little outfit on and shit. There's no, there's no <laughs> appropriate time for this. <laughs> yeah. That's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be a bad time for something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's worse times, sure. Yeah, this is always a bad time. Yeah, this is always a bad like time. This, like domestic violence is always a bad thing like there's never like i said i don't i just don't you know i know i know shit happens in relationships but i just never see it shouldn't that shouldn't happen I, yeah but yeah i know like <laughs> i like that to me is like i don't I, I i can never understand a man putting his hands on a woman i just can't understand it i would never understand that like that's something that i could never understand because to me it's like there's no it's a woman you know what I mean? not you know what i mean it's just like it's a woman like you can't you can't hit a woman it's like growing up as a kid. If you see a kid in the playground, and he hits a girl. It's like, yo, what are you doing? So imagine now as a man, you hitting a woman. It's, it's just crazy to me. Like I just don't understand it. Yeah, you could grab her in the closet and scream, "Chill, though." 
Oh no, yeah. Uh, restraining, <laughs> restraining, and hitting is is two different things. Like right. that's two totally different things. If some, if a woman is hitting you and you know whatever, you can re- absolutely restrain her. But I'm just talking about physically swinging and, and hitting a woman is that's that's insane to me. I don't I don't it's understand. Unacceptable. That. I think Breakfast Club this morning was pre recorded. I assume. I assume. Uh, this morning, meaning yesterday morning, by the time you guys hear this, tomorrow morning they're gonna have to address it too. I would assume. Yeah, I would think so. I figured they did this morning. I just didn't see. I figured that would have hit Angela Yee's rumor report. No. I think maybe everybody respects the seriousness of it. It's a serious like, situation. You get it. Yeah. You, you get it. And a lot of these people know both Fab, Fab and, and Emily personally. Yeah. So it's, it's personal for a lot of people in New York. You know what I mean? So it's unfortunate. Yeah, that's, man, and that's I'm just, 20 I'm just years for the best of, of relationships. Right. Right. And there's children involved. And m- most importantly. I guess that's the thing that made the video disturbing. Yeah, you, most you important. Just hear children in, yeah. in, in, yeah, in that the are background. clearly witnessing this. Yeah, that's not a good not sight to it. see for any child, whether it was serious or not. Like just arguing in that yeah, type of way is yeah, yeah, not great to not see as a kid. Kids. Yeah. yeah, I tell I tell sin all the time. Shit, when our energy is off, I, I don't like us being around the, the kid. Just yeah. just just energy. That's how important that shit is to me with with children. Um, all right, so we what we just gotta wait, 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 yeah. wait and see. We got we got to wait yeah. and see. There's, like I said, there's not enough to go on right now other than a video. Do you think Do you think more will be revealed? Because if everybody was recording, then there's probably there's probably a longer video somewhere, and whoever sold that video to well, TMZ is probably trying to sell. I was another just going to say, unfortunately, we've been through this before with celebs and domestic situations, and everything comes out eventually. You know what I mean? We'll I'm sure we'll get more photos, more videos, yeah. more. You know, dialogue more. No, we better not get a, fo- a photo of of Emily without we, teeth. We always do. Well, let's hope it didn't no. happen. So yeah, I don't. I don't like one. I said, I don't know what happened. I'm saying we always get mug shots, police photos. You know, we all. It, it, well, the can't story name a domestic case that happened with the story broke before the video came out. This is so what I'm this, saying. Like more so things have unraveled since the first report of there being some dispute and uh, her father going in to grab guns out the. House. When you're a high profile person in a domestic situation. All is revealed. Now that's the part that I got. You grabbing guns? Yeah. You grab you grabbing niggas guns out the house. Who had a gun? Well, the the story the was story, that allegedly Emily felt scared that Fab might use a gun on her, so her father went in there and took all the guns out of the house. Yeah, that's scary. That is scary. Again, that's you know that's reports. I, I like I said, we don't know. We we don't know what's what's real what's not real what happened what didn't happen everything is just speculative right now true Maul I like how you handled this I mean it's I just like, real I gotta, shit I gotta, I gotta, I gotta commend you <laughs> it's just real shit I was, I was, a, little, I was a little scared <laughs> I was a little nervous <laughs> I, just, I was a little worried man. <laughs> me? yes why? I don't know <laughs> yeah, I, like, I'll be running around wilding out like, nah I, I just don't think you're cultured oh okay <laughs> 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 no that was, that was dope that was good I well guess played. that was kind of a serious podcast. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a serious it's a very serious, it's a serious yeah, issue. Yeah. I wish he well, was, I, if it, if it just came out like yo Fab is cheating, I would have came in with so many jokes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have treated that shit like the Kevin Hart shit. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this is serious. Yeah, this is serious. So you can't joke about this. You got to be got to be serious. So again, prayers to everybody involved, and more will be revealed, but hopefully not too much more. I do not want to see a, a picture that. Proves any of that stuff to be true. I swear, I, Jesus, that's going to be painful. Uh, and that's that. Listen, now, has anybody seen Roseanne? <laughs> the new Roseanne? <laughs> yeah. Now, listen. What a great segue. No, nah, <laughs> I'm blown away by by this that by this phenomenon. The new Roseanne, right? Yeah, I haven't seen. That. Did it come out I, yet? The episode yes. New, oh yeah, I didn't see. How it. many episodes? Just one. I saw the just, trailer. Just one. Oh. Just I'm, one. I'm surprised that you're surprised. That was one of the biggest shows of our. I era. thought it was dope that they brought it back. I, th- I think that that's dope. Yeah. If it, you know. Wait, you're surprised that I. That was yeah, one of, yeah, besides yeah. like Seinfeld. That was the biggest. Yeah, that was, six that was, that was on huge. TV. Yeah, that was huge. Savon, find find out how many seasons uh, Roseanne was on back in the day. A lot, a lot. This is why I'm surprised. Twelve. Is John Goodman on the new one? All of the original cast members are there. I'm a, huge, I'm a huge John Goodman fan. That's so. super dope that all of the original cast members are back. Yeah, you don't see that. Yes, often. you don't yeah. see that often. So now, so now, let me toss this little tidbit out there. Everything from the '90s uh, is up. 
like all of the old shit that is being redone, renewed. Or, mm, all well, the 90s it, fashion it, is bad. A, I was going to say sneakers. Spike. It's all high. So when you guys say that y'all are y'all are, were not surprised by that, I understand. Right. I'm talking about the severity of the numbers, like over 25 million people. I don't know what that means as far as what, what what's common. 25 uh, million people what? Watched Roseanne. Over 25. Yes. I, yeah, I believe that. Yeah, it's not surprising to me. Common would be 12, 14 million. Oh, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> like that would be a great outing. I'm not surprised. Yeah, 25 million sounds about right for Roseanne. She, I mean, like, so give me a, since y'all sound like that, g- give me another 90s show that y'all think is capable of that. Seinfeld would probably do 50. Yeah, Friends. Yeah, Friends, Friends. would definitely do that shit. No way. What? Yeah, friends We're not watching there. Friends, my nigga. We have outgrown Joey and Rachel. Nah, if they bring nah. friends and back Ross. right now, you think they're not I, doing more I, than I was, 25 million? I'll slap the shit out of Ross, man. I'm not. <laughs> not in, in, in 2018, you think I'm looking at fucking Ross? Okay. You think I'm looking at nine white people in a fucking uh, I, studio? I think a apartment? lot of white people would, about, yeah. Okay, that's, that's you. So what do you think if they bring friends back right I now? I think the white people got tired of friends. The yeah, fucking friends nah. stopped getting along. Okay. Jennifer Aniston was beefing with... Because they, they can't... All right, so that's the other thing that we're ignoring here. All shows can't come back. Well, yeah, because of Friends internal can't come beefs. back because oh, yeah. of internal no, beef. No, we're, we're just saying... Seinf- how people Seinfeld look. will not come back because Elaine comes from Fetty, and she's still getting it, and she ain't beat. Seinfeld ain't beat, and Kramer's a racist. We ain't really supporting all of that shit still. Well, what do you say about the Roseanne stuff they're covering on the first episode? Well, okay, so Roseanne's character is a Trump supporter, but she disses him. Mm. What's her That's What's clever. her actual stance politically? I don't know. I'm not certain. I don't know if she's made that clear. I'm but not... I, I do know if you watch TV now, it is swayed to the left on a lot of TV shows. So I think a lot of Trump supporters are going to run to anything that might be positive for him because TV now... You can say in the arts and movies, it's it's to the it sways to the left. I mean, it always is, but yeah. And obviously, well, stop saying sways to the left. <laughs> <laughs> they can pull out can't all sway. sway. <laughs> no, we're not Jesus. swaying. <laughs> um, and of course, he was elected president, so a good majority of people like him, and I think are going to support anything that he does as we as we've seen for the past two years. I don't know. It's not very hot in the streets for Trump right now. For where we live, but well, you have true. to understand the rest of the country also has cable. That's true. Speak for yourselves. I live with the Trump supported white people. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Roseanne's show. Roseanne wasn't a political show back in the day, but it no. was. It was in I a mean, way. It was kind of. It was social, socio-political, economic, it political. Moment. So that combined with her character being a Trump supporter, combined with the fact that all of the original cast members are back, combined with the fact, and I think Roseanne originally left over money issues. I don't think those issues are, are happening right now. They've already re-upped on season two. Wow. They're rocking. All right, no, and all right, fine. Nobody's surprised but me. <laughs> it's a big show. Just because maybe it wasn't a big show for you. It was a big no, show for a lot No, it was of a big show. Right. I'm not saying I'm surprised because I think it wasn't big. It was huge. Right. I'm surprised that 25 years later, so many people... I could see if The Sopranos came back, right? I could see it uh, breaking bad. Something like with those. I didn't know that Roseanne's cult was like that because she's those, been those low sit, for so sitcoms long. Sitcoms were big, man. Well, yeah. that's 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 so, why it would be huge. She when bodied that. Yeah, yeah, they they didn't uh, wear she, out their welcome at all. She you know walked away for whatever the reasons be. I think it was uh uh financial reasons. They had nine seasons prior, by the way. This she the she tension. laid low for man. So the long. first the first episode did twenty five million. Yes, and the new episode airs tonight. I think. It, I think if Martin comes back, it might do that. <laughs> nah. I, I, think so. I don't think it'll do that oh. much. It'll I do a so. lot, but it'll, I don't know. I, I really think so. <laughs> well, y'all felt like that when I said Black Panther was going to be the that biggest movie ever. That, that is true, right. Play that shit right. all night. But, I, but Martin, <laughs> Martin wasn't as, as big because it was so short. Martin it was got only, bigger it was after only, what, it was, five seasons or something like yeah, that? Yeah, but it got bigger after it was off air. No, you're right. That's you're my right. point. So I now think it would do big Now if numbers. new episodes are coming, like, come on. Well, I think do, it would do They do play that shit on MTV, too. That's what I'm telling you. That shit would do crazy numbers. But not 25 million. Okay. Well, shut the fuck up. You didn't think Roseanne was going to. You still can't believe Roseanne did that. No, I'm trying to fucking talk about podcast content. Well, no, I didn't think you'd do that. I, I know, that's that. what I just said. <laughs> and wait a minute. With Black Panther, I came in the very next week and said, all right, y'all may be right. I apologize. I'm talking about when to, I said try it. to hang me You to might the come fire. in next week and say, yeah, you might be right about Martin. Martin is not doing 25 million. Well, they already said Martin's not coming back. Martin is not doing 20 million if and he returns. And they already returns. said everybody okay. was Martin is not doing Tommy 15 million if he returns. Okay. All right. 
He might do 15. I don't listen to Joe. <laughs> Martin. Let's be clear. Wait, if Martin comes back, it's Aaron Weir. That's a good question. I don't care where it's airing. A yeah, bunch of motherfuckers. Kind of a yeah. bunch of people are gonna watch no, it. Don't make, me, don't make me hit the. I don't care. Day, I don't yeah. care where it's aired at. I think to, if to, Martin announces that there's a new season coming, new episodes, people are gonna. A lot of people are gonna absolutely, watch. Absolutely, but I don't know if it's gonna compete with 25 million unless it's on CBS, NBC, or ABC. Because just yeah, by okay. nature of TV. Okay. And the amount of people that view those channels. Right. Because you just get them anyway. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're dead broke and you got the antenna, you're getting CBS. Or like whatever. I said, man, when black people decide to get behind something and support it, it will do numbers. No, you're right. That and is- I think black people will get behind the new Martin series. I mean, new Martin episodes. That's just my that's just my humble, humble opinion. 25 million. Hey. Your humble opinion Look is Look at Black Panther. Trap. Okay. Yeah, more on. I'm just saying you thought you thought Black Panther was super trash. You thought the yo, trailer was trash. Yo, this, this he was killing I'm, a dude yo. like why is Jackie Robinson playing the Black Panther and all you was doing all of that? Biggest movie ever. I also killed the fucking the transgender community for beefing about there not being transgender representation in Black Panther. After I went and saw Black Panther, I was wondering what the transgenders thought they were supposed to do in Black Panther. I mean that's another story. <laughs> I ain't got no- I we, that we were whole. doing so well. Yeah, I missed, I missed the people that was mad about transgender not <laughs> being in Black Panther. Oh, that was a thing. I missed that part. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get that. Listen, everybody that's oppressed is mad as of late. <laughs> well, this is a we're in, this is such a a sensitive. I hate it. Like everybody, oh, I hate it. Everybody's just so sensitive. I man. hate like, all I you just, men and I love my lit. Yeah, like everybody's just sensitive, man. So it's like when people, you know, I see certain things and marches and rallies, you know, to myself because I don't want to, you know, upset Ruffle anyone. Feathers. I just laugh. And like, on this podcast. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah like another rally, huh? Okay, we get it. All right. So I think I already know your take on the next topic, but uh, Cardi B's new single was released. This was a big release. You mean Party's newer single? No, Cardi's. <laughs> oh, Party? Life of the Party? Life of the party. It doesn't sound like a party. Is Cardi the life of the party? <laughs> no, the, the dude. What? The That's gentleman, the other song. Oh, you talking about homeboy? Party. Oh, you one of those? I, what? You thought it sounded like a party? You record? think? No, 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 no. The oh. gentleman who actually wrote the record's name is Party. Life oh. of the party. Oh, and oh, then, is it? And a clip. And a clip yeah, got released. A clip got released of him rapping the record a year. Yeah, yeah. He put it on his IG and it was still all, up there. All Spoiler the new, alert, guys! Artists buy records. From word. Other people. All, all, yeah. all, word, all word all for word. The, uh, <laughs> all the new kids who have no idea how the music business works are up in a, up in a raw. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they've got all their panties in a bunch about yeah. Cardi's reference record leaking. Yeah. and and Drake Hive relaxing our mentions right now. We hold Drake as a very high caliber rapper. That's why we were upset. Yeah, I had someone. Uh, coming at Rihanna for not writing all her songs. I was like, come on, man. Th- come on. <laughs> you better highlight Michael Jackson, too. Word. You got to highlight a lot of people. <laughs> you got to highlight everybody. Everybody. Frank Sinatra. Right. <laughs> everybody. Uh, so with that said, how do y'all feel about the song? I thought it was cool. Well, oh, first listen, I didn't particularly like it. A few more, I, I kind of understood what they was trying to do. I think she was going for the radio record so much that maybe they needed to pull back and show that she could make like a slower song, I guess. It's her third And single. not just redo... Uh, Bodak Yellow over and over. I know it seems like it should be your first single because the album is supposedly dropping what this week? Sixth, I think. So people expected it to be like the huge smash single, but she's already had two singles out before, so it's not yeah. uncommon for the third single to be some different. And listen, it was full of a bunch of Instagram captions and tweets that girls could take when they take one oh, selfie, yeah. which I guess is a good marketing plan. Yeah. <laughs> That's some strategic marketing these days. Is what what'll be a good IG caption? Let's make that my. Oh, I, I love the chorus. <laughs> And I love it. I was my one of the few people that said Cardi should actually sang this Never drop my heart. If you have it, don't hold it. Be careful with my heart. <laughs> no. That is what the hook says. I know that's what it says. Be saying. careful with me. I'm just saying no. Nah. My heart is pretty delicate. If I give it to you, better be careful with my heart. I don't mm-hmm. think she sounded that bad. I don't think she did either. Why is she singing the hook? Let's that's, talk about it. That, that record ain't for me. Well, well, it's, it's, not it's, no it's not for me either, bro. I'm not home in the mirror. I'm cool. I'm saying, be careful with me, Sin. I'm cool. I'm cool on that record. I'm good. Mm. Not for me. Was Bodak Yellow for you? <laughs> it wasn't for me, but it was, was a better. Was G Audible was better. G Easy's verse, yeah. So nothing. So none of Cardi's music is for you. No. I mean, shut the fuck up, then. <laughs> you asked my opinion. I just said it ain't for me. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to ask your opinion. Rory, what do you well, think? Well, do you like the way it makes women react to parties? 
That's why I like Cardi Marl B. ain't been to no party. I was in a party the other day. What party? In the city. Can I get more information? <laughs> Come on, Oak. you know the party in the city. <laughs> oh, you were at One Oak? You was under the neon sign? <laughs> no. no I, ended up I, at One Oak. I wasn't under the neon uh, sign. Ah, yes you were. I was in One Oak. I wasn't under the Wait, neon sign. Wait, what does the sign started, say? You started out at the Derby and no. then ended up at I One Oak. I started out on the... On, on you the, hopped the, around? No, I started out on the West Side Highway. More lived to hop around, dude. I started out on the West Side Highway, then I ended up in One Oak. Well, is the what's up, y'all? Let's run over here next. Nah. God. Yo, my those man got a over. table over here. Ah. <laughs> nah, those days Yo, over. my here. man has a table over here. You know that guy? Nah, those days over. I seen you had a table in Cherry Lounge that time. Cherry Lounge? <laughs> nah. You had a table? No. All right. Cherry Lounge. More had a table at Skate Key. They, would, they, used, they used to be in Cherry Lounge. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely didn't have a table. Um... Uh, all right, back to this Cardi record. All right, I'm not surprised that somebody else wrote the record. Newsflash, uh, Cardi's not writing any of this shit. Yeah, uh, the, the, why, who thought Cardi was writing anything? Nobody, not, not I. Not, not me either. No, no <laughs> savvy music guy thinks that Cardi is writing anything. Now, with that to the side, I like this record. I like this record. Let me, let, me, let me be clear because my take may be a little confusing. I like this song a lot. I don't like how it was released. <laughs> why you say that? Well, when Homeboy, all right, when I first heard Cardi's version, uh-huh. I said, all right, she's spitting. Like, she is spitting. Sure. She is, that's really great. That's really great rapping. It's better rapping than I've heard from her in a long time. She even used uh, co- the word coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it took a few takes. <laughs> that's a hard word to say. I it know. Is. Listen, I, I, I have a trouble saying it. And Cardi English is broken a little bit, so... Especially when you're rapping, that doesn't. Well, y'all thought Cardi sat down in the studio and wrote coordinates, people. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. knock it the fuck off. <laughs> so anyway, so I thought that she was killing the verses, and then the hook came, and I was like, I see what you did there. And then the explanation came how she wanted to be a letter and authentic, all her, so no features. And I was like, eh, okay, but no. It could have been hell. This, this SZA could have taken this that to the next level. E- <laughs> it sounded like a SZA record. <laughs> SZA could have taken that to any other level. Any <laughs> level. It didn't have to be the next one. Any level. <laughs> the next one. SZA, um, a feature would have helped the chorus tremendously, number one. Uh, number two, it's such an empty record, period. So it sounds r- rough. It sounds dry. demo It's very dry. Yeah. It's dry. Is the I, album that, still coming this week? The album is coming out, April 6th, yes. That's really popular in modern pop music, by the way. There's a lot of stuff that's very dry. Uh, if it's not completely soaked like the weekend, it's very dry. I thought the mix on her vocal, I, I, I might be nitpicking. I just think that they could have done more when they got the record from wherever they got it from to to bolster it, to make it a Cardi B sounding record. Yeah, the vocals are really every, low. Yeah, everything with Cardi is big. She's, she's a big artist. She's a big act now. So the music kind of got to match that. So when your label buys the record... Or your team, your label, somebody has to make sure that the writer took it down from his all across all yeah, socials. Yeah, that's, that's another thing that got to be in the contract when you sell that shit. I'm yeah, sure, I'm sure it was. It probably just well, went over. Do your research. Yeah, someone should find that research. shit. There's enough people at them damn labels. Someone could have the intern could have been scouring his socials. Yeah, that's 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 got to go. That can't happen. I can't say sway, but Parks can say scour. Scour. <laughs> no, scour's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's like sw- coordinates. It's up there? <laughs> no, this guy was harder than that. Um, so I like the record. I just don't like the final result, if that makes sense. I get it. I wasn't mad at it. Yeah, it's, it's just low quality now. That's that way, that's one. Two, this this is when I knew a feature should have been on that course. When I saw vinyls and Boy Wonder, uh, I think it was vinyls tweeting about the record because he produced it. He mm-hmm. co-produced it. Yeah. And then I said, oh, that's why it's got this little 2000. This, this is the nothing. This is nothing was the same Drake. That's what the beat. When that beat dropped, that is the era that it yeah. took me to. Yeah, nothing was the same Drake. Yeah, so when Vinyls that. tweeted that, I said, okay, if he did the beat, that makes sense. But. Oh, what did he say? He said the beat was from then? No, no, he didn't say uh, that. But that is the era that Vinyls was yeah. really, really. Shit, uh, he still is. He's been producing all that shit. <laughs> Finals and Boy Wonder is still doing all the fucking big records. This is true, but I get the frequency in which they are released from OVO is slower now. Okay, as 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 far as uh, 
it relates to back then, number one. And number two, the records sound different today. Yeah. Today, the sound is different. That record is an old record, clearly, because Homeboy posted it a year ago. Uh, we know this is common in music, too, where, you know, you record a song and it comes out years later. But again, if I'm this mag- if I'm that magnitude of an artist, I'm not getting a two to three year old reference track. Fair. Especially to release my album. But I saw some people saying that uh, between Bodak Yellow or whatever, I saw some report uh, reports. Some of them might might have been fake. That Cardi is already registered to to be gold when she drops. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, same I way. That, I said that last week. Views was platinum before it dropped because of uh, one dance. Yeah, yeah. That's why uh, they're gonna fix that eventually. I think. Yo, <laughs> that's a loophole in the system. Yeah, and I mean, Yo, I don't it's been a couple myself. years. Yo, this shit is crazy, man. I'm sorry. Like this new era, this new way of getting music and these numbers. These numbers are false, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I can't respect. A Whoa! Lot of I can't respect. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So Whoa! I can't respect a lot of these numbers. You don't respect the Hot 100. No, <laughs> <laughs> not at all. You don't respect the iTunes podcast chart. Mm-mm. No, no. All right, so give me more. You always come in with the just hard no, opening saying, line I, and it just drift away just in the like, verse. No, because I'm listening to you talk, and you, you know we always start talking about numbers and shit, and it's just like it's like this. The way people could just throw these crazy numbers out now, and it's like you know, I can't knock them for being born when they were born and coming up in the in the era. They, but it's just like a lot of that shit I can't respect. Like, I just don't like the way that that works as far as a single counting towards your album going. Prior. Yeah, like I that shit weird. like that is That's crazy weird. to me. Like, no. Nah. That's the new. Um, I won't say uh, new rollout, but I see that that period is the period that labels focus on and then they don't care about your album dropping. I'm seeing that happen with God's plan now Mm. with Drake. They're going to rake that up and when that has added however many fucking sales it needs to add because I I believe Drake is done. With his album? Probably so. Yeah, he's he's wrapping up. And then they do a different fact every day like God's plan has been on for seven years. Mind you, it came out three weeks ago. It's been on Billboard for 17 weeks in a row. The Beatles never did that. (laughs) And I'm like, wait, what? (laughs) Only Madonna and the Beatles. It's not just Drake, but there's a lot of artists. They just come up with these weird facts for like all the people that All the people that write the LeBron facts at ESPN (laughs) write write the Drake facts. Same shit. ESPN has all the same. Only on a Wednesday in the blue moon Mm -hmm. did Michael Jordan get the same numbers. Um, what were we talking about just now? Uh, streaming numbers, Cardi. Oh, Cardi, album. Cardi. Uh, other than that, I mean, the video's not out yet, right? No, uh, they're putting out a video for the mm-hmm. other record for the record she just put out. I think I oh, saw that called she's Cardi, Cardi, Cardi with Bar- Cardi, 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 Cardi. Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. They didn't put a video out for that. No, already? they were. Uh, remember, I said they were announcing that they were going to show one on uh, VH1 during the oh, Love yeah, and Hip Hop yeah, reunion, yeah, yeah. and it never aired. So now they're going to. This is tough. The way they're handling this is confusing. I ain't gonna it's, lie. it's all over the place, but it's all over the place because That's of really uh, late for that video. Uh, strenuous circumstances. And because of the fact that they got the ace in the hole that the album's going to be platinum off rip. It kind of doesn't matter. Cardi just tweeted a fuck out like two days ago that, all right, she just finished the album. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> that is scary. Wasn't she saying that she was still down to the wire? fan this is being handled crazy but you know what I, what I would like to say is I we've been you, saying for the past two weeks that we felt this was rushed yeah it's, it's, yeah, yeah but it's being confirmed uh, with every passing day I would <laughs> like to take back though what I said last week about Cardi switching her management team I'm in full support of it now last week I said it was a conflict of interest but the more I thought about it uh, every tweet every Instagram post every snap Every everything she's talking about, people stealing from her. So the word is that her team was stealing from her. Oh well, and that brings me back to what? Well, you look, no, ahead, you I'm look befuddled. And point. that brings me back to when TMZ first got the news that she was pregnant, and it said we got word from her team, and I was like, well, that's conflicting because uh, she's doing everything she can to hide her pregnancy, but somebody told it. The that old, old team. Yeah, the old, old yeah, the old team is just selling business out here. I mean, I'm just speculating here, of course. So, I mean, I your boyfriend is the hottest rapper in the world. His team is breaking everybody. They broke him. They breaking Yachty. They breaking. They breaking everybody. If and, they're gonna, and they're putting them in shit outside of rap too. Keep that in mind. Right? Yeah, no one's doing that better than QC. I can't so. call it a conflict of interest because at no point will. 
QC have to negotiate against, offset against Cardi? If anything, it would help. It would help. She, they're, they're leveraging. That's a great move, especially if your old team is stealing from you. Yeah. I have no beef with that. Round of applause for uh, QC making a power move and, 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 and taking Cardi over there. Sidebar. I saw, I'm tired of Quavo on offset. I saw them playing football in a video somewhere. <laughs> At, uh, yeah, whatever the day was called. It was... I'm tired, of, I'm, I'm tired of Dave's Huncho too. Day. Huncho. Huncho. Quavo's dope enough. I mean, uh, yeah, Quavo's dope enough to get a day. He can have a day. I'm not calling my man's <laughs> Huncho. I'm not ever calling him Huncho, but oh, I saw. <laughs> listen, Qua- Quavo <laughs> threw. Quavo was playing quarterback. He threw the ball to Offset as if he were Sam Darnold. And <laughs> Offset looked like Saquon Barkley out there. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, man. I got to start giving these kids some more credit. Damn. Remember what it's like to be athletic like that? Well, Rory's probably still athletic because he's in the 20s, but the rest of y'all niggas. Remember what it's like to be athletic like that? We're those guys now. We're not. It's over. Yeah, join it, it we just got our, our war stories of our glory days. <laughs> yeah, it hurts getting out the bed now. Yeah. I feel the rain two days in advance. That nigga offset is nice Boy. on the football field. So that's how you write the farmer's almanac. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. Pretty funny there, Rory. Uh is that all we had on the on the Cardi record? And any yeah, anything so. else we need to we need to unpack with that one? <laughs> no, I think good. that's about it. I'm set. Man. Are we waiting for the album so we could discuss in detail? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the album. I am too. I'm, I'm curious to see what she does yeah, with a full I wanna, project. I want to hear. I want to hear a full project from her. I want to hear what she what she puts together. Do we have feature guesses? Oh man, that's pretty cool, guys. I could see why the streets are always wait, waiting on you guys' opinion. <laughs> did, did, uh, did, did her track list come out yet? No, nah. nothing has been released. Well, she's apparently still recording songs, according to her Twitter. That yeah, we just mentioned, so. Hey man, Jay Z did PSA the day before they turned Play. the album in. Good thing he did. <laughs> <laughs> good fucking thing he did. What a record to do just before your album's tan handed in. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, the weekend project was released. Erickson looks like the weekend a little bit in the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> does a little bit. Um, the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? You stupid man. Um, did anybody listen to it? I did. I love it. I did. did. You mean all? Oh six my songs? god. I thought it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> the mall- Hold on, Seems Maul. displeased with how yeah, many hold, records yeah, we no, hold on. no, 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 because we, we Maul said, can't be displeased. We said when we listen, did we listen to it? Yeah, we I listened to all six songs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let me tell you why I won't hold that against the weekend. I'm not holding it against them at all. I'm just saying, was it every take other, mo- long to listen every, to six every, records? <laughs> every other EP that niggas is sneaking out, they doing some bullshit. Uh, whose EP did I just listen to? Uh, oh, Tink. I love Tink's EP. Every song is two minutes. Mm-hmm. Not the weekend. The weekend will not do that. Them shits is five. Yeah, shit was a after good. three minutes the beat change. After he give you a whole nother song on the end of one. I'm fucking with them six. That was better than niggas album. No, no, for sure. That was that was pretty good. And uh I think he released some type of track list or or oh no, the comma is what is leading people to believe that, you know, we get a new weekend full length project soon. He mm-hmm. one of them niggas. I don't expect him to ever do anything for no reason. It's always calculated. He's not just dropping an EP with no music coming soon. That's not happening. I don't believe that. Yeah, he doesn't move that way. Yeah, no. But That's man, fun. that EP is <laughs> fire! <laughs> and, and help men out too. All this men are trash shit. Oh, that just fire! reminded me how trash women are. Wait, what? That EP. Women are trash. <laughs> that man was hurt. <laughs> women are trash. <laughs> he was hurt. No, he was. There was some foul shit happening in his relationship. This is true. Anytime a man is getting hung over the fire, <laughs> like by, by a woman, nobody cares. Niggas just want the good music. <laughs> it's like nobody cares that the weekend almost gave the girl a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Word. And then everyone talk about Cardi and how hurt she was in that song. Weekend gave you six songs of way more hurtness in the, yeah. in the kidney. <laughs> But, <laughs> but you, you kind of expect that type of sound from Weekend already, though. Like that's his sound. He looked like the yeah. nigga that a bitch could get a kidney from. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving a kidney, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> a kidney. A kid. A kidney. No. No. Not your liver. No. I'm keeping everything in that's they, they internal. Don't want my liver. <laughs> yeah. Word. Oh yeah, they definitely. I don't. need a new liver. <laughs> Why would this? I want to hear that phone call went. <laughs> the kidney conversation. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what does nigga say? I'm just in the middle of something. Let me call you back. <laughs> <laughs> what if she took? What if she actually took the kidney and then it ended? 
So you I'm can't not, just give away your kidney. I'm gonna need that back. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it back. You can't take your kidney back. That's why I have never purchased implants for a woman uh, or a kidney. Because that's I would want my implants back. Nah, <laughs> implants, whatever. My kidney. Wait, that wait, came wait, tell whoa, me how that whoa. conversation would go. What do you mean, whatever? I can't. You can't go have sex with another nigga with my kidney and you. No way. <laughs> okay. So now say that same sentence again and replace the word kidney with breast. I don't. Implants is because that wasn't never mine. That, that kidney was in my body. True. That was my money. No. <laughs> that nah, paid for those not, titties. I'm rolling with Maul. I'm rolling with yeah. Kid, big kidney, big punch. My kidney. Us. I've had that my whole life. Yeah. Well, Maul's not buying a chick of beef jerky. <laughs> More, if, more if I'm ever with it. a chick and she asks for beef jerky, we will never hang out again. <laughs> What's wrong with beef jerky? Beef jerky? Have you ever looked at the ingredients of a beef jerky? No. Nah, well, they no. make organic beef I've never jerky. read the ingredients on ass. anything I've consumed. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no. Beef jerky? No. You can't date a girl that likes beef jerky. That is a, a weird request. I think I'm beef a jerky? That's some wild shit. Yo, if you, go, <laughs> yo, if if you, you want stop at from the, the store, store <laughs> and she slam a Slim Jim on the counter, <laughs> listen, man, we dropping you off. You got to go. <laughs> She could be a smoker. A sm- what type Chicks, of smoker? We heads love Slim Jims, nah, according to movies. You better go get a real burger. <laughs> a beef jerky? How many times have y'all got pussy off a... Uh, off beef off, jerky? Zero. No, off a bag of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> One bag? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking with no chick that's giving me ass off of one bag of wheat. At least let it be nah. half a O. Or Bitches are giving it. <laughs> let me roll you up like four coins. In 05, they was giving it up for a gram. Wait a bit. $15. Yeah, yeah, younger. Bitch, but I was getting younger. right off the tray. <laughs> off nah. the tray bag. Nah, not off a dime. Hey, I want to meet the I want to I meet the guy who f- just made them stop selling tray bags altogether. A tray bag is crazy. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody selling no tray bag. That's man. a crazy small that's amount a, of weed. That's a <laughs> <laughs> selling trays is a sick hustle, man. <laughs> That shit like, was a even on that shit. crazy. Especially some good weed. You know how small that is? <laughs> a tray bag of weed it's is insane. Crumb. Nobody insane. here has ever purchased a tray bag. Yeah, Never. Yeah, back in high school. For Never. Sure. What? Yo, a tray Maul bag of crazy, back when nigga. back when weed was only shitty Maul weed. Maul is no always way. better I've than never, us. I, 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 just, I started smoking weed. I was older, first of all. Oh, okay. And it was that like it was already like high, high potent shit. Oh, okay. So back, oh, well, that's back, why. Yeah, back in the nineties, in the nineties, that was only shit. I started. No, I started smoking like in 03. Oh, oh, you're not gangster, my nigga. Yeah, no, I started <laughs> smoking like here. Yeah, yeah, I smoked weed out of the tinfoil before. Yeah, yeah I'm not above well, anything. Yeah. The can? You ever made the? I'm not above anything. You ever made the bowl out of the can? We punch the holes in it. No, I've made a bowl out of everything. Word. Yeah, y'all white. Y'all do that type of shit. That's a fact. Y'all make bowls out of. Y'all make. There was plenty of black kids smoking out of the tinfoil with me. Well, y'all would be very surprised at how drugs came back in the day. Crack came in bags, brown bags. I'm sorry that you know that. <laughs> Why? That you know crack came in a bag? You know it too. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Some, you know, nobody in your family know that crack came in a brown bag. Not my ask, family. Ask, <laughs> ask, you said me. Ask, not, ask, my family, yeah. No, I'm ask sure. Brown. I'm you sure. Stop fam- talking like you're no, so much I'm, better no, than anybody. I'm sure in my family. <laughs> don't talk to your no, family, no, no, nigga. I'm sure it's niggas in my family that know well, that. That's how I, I, that's how I know it, nigga. I know I crack from my vows. Like from from glass. Well, you just started smoking weed in 03, my nigga. Yeah. You're not against. You don't know about shit back then. Yeah. I keep saying more one outside. Well, I was outside. Rory, Rory <laughs> has the list of topics. Can you open your phone and just stop after, sitting here? After you berated me for having a list last time? Yeah, because I didn't make the list today. What else is on the fucking docket? <laughs> Uh, are we worried about the Bow Wow versus Trippy Red in the fight for Ohio? Oh, the fight for Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> the battle for Akron. <laughs> the fight for Ohio is crazy. Having is LeBron in this fight? I, I, LeBron name has to be somewhere in the fight for I, Ohio. I said LeBron, Somebody on the bench on the Cavs could be in this fight. Damon, <laughs> Damon Jones? Somebody in... Uh, LeBron has to be in this Busy fight. Bone. I don't think just, Busy Bone still is, be in this. Is, is Bone is thug, right. The whole Bone Thugs is definitely <laughs> in the fight for Ohio. Yeah. I might put Ray Cash in that fight. But Machine yeah. Gun Kelly. <laughs> but this, sure. is, this is my beef with Bow Wow, who, uh, who probably will come on this show at some point, hopefully. Ice, you're not invited. My beef with Bow Wow <laughs> is... Nah, he has to come. No, he'll never come. Um... But we we've always associated Bow Wow with Atlanta, and that's the other dude's issue. Trippy Red, I believe I see some of him. So I might that. agree with Trippy Red here. Yeah, you can't just come back and claim Ohio now that the land is cool. We've got <laughs> the land. Yeah, they got a cool <laughs> nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some they, championships. LeBron bought a whole bunch of money to down the downtown area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. JR is making the clubs. Yeah. He made the clubs a little better. Yeah, no. Bow Wow got to stay with Chris Cross and the Brat. <laughs> you cannot come to the land now, uh, Mr. Wow. Dude. 
understand. Have you guys it's seen the, the trippy red gentleman? I know nothing about his music. I just know he needs a glass of water and some lotion. <laughs> He's the weirdest color I've ever seen in my life. He's like gray. He yeah, looks so dehydrated. Quiet is kept. <laughs> Qu- quiet is kept. That kid's music looks pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. My son is calling me. Trey. Yo, plug your new record. Uh, Uncle Dill said we have to dress a certain type of way tomorrow. Tomorrow, what's that? Oh, I don't know anything about tomorrow yet. I'm still in today. Uh, let me finish my podcast and I'll shoot you a text as soon as I'm finished. All right. All right, sorry, Bob. No, it's fine. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Don't try to be nice to your son because we're recording. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm super mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you act around Trey. I'm the meanest dad ever. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Yo, I'm just learning. Well, no, we I'm listened mean. to. We all heard the record. <laughs> but we know. Yo, what's up with the volume on this thing? You keep turning it down. Yeah, god damn it. All right, Rory, let me see your little list. Uh I don't I don't care about uh Trippy Red and Mr. Wow's beef that much. Uh DMX got sentenced to one year. Damn. Listen, I don't ever want to see let someone see go to jail, list. but that might be better for him. He might need a year to get his shit straight. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so slipping didn't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, nah, it, it went from five list? to one. He was facing five. He got I, one. I seen a nigga tweet. <laughs> I seen a nigga tweet. Yo, the judge was probably like, damn, I forgot how hard this shit slapped. All right, a year. <laughs> and rights to record over the phone. <laughs> Shine did it, so can you. <laughs> oh, wait, remember when Rory tried to defend that fucking Shine album to me? Yeah, and I still yo, fucking will. Oh, my God. Yo, Rory Godfather is the worst. Godfather Buried Alive is hard. That's Rory, a good album. Yo, Rory has the worst music hot takes ever. <laughs> Shine, wait. R- Rory is the guy that because he worked at Def Jam, for that period that he worked oh, there. Everything? He thinks everything Wait, that was released. Dog, I was like 13 when that album came out. What are you talking about? So why are you defending Because I like that? it. <laughs> I enjoy that album. Okay. Rory likes the Shine Jail album You're that bugging. he rhymed over the phone oh, from nah. jail. I thought you were talking about the first Shine that album. That bum-ass right? Kevin Lowes overpaid for. I think the first Shine album was all right, though, right? Yeah, but we're talking yeah, about was. the Def Jam one from jail oh, over the that. phone where it was all collect calls. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't remember Their phone that? bill budget was when crazy. When he just got back from Saudi Arabia or some shit, he was wearing a, a, a fucking home goods sheet. You saw my shine? Yeah. Yeah. This shit was hard. Yeah, that was hard. Right? I like this album. That, uh, that, that, that they had to wait hard. for the phone to connect. That's why it's a long intro. <laughs> That record was on. Please press five. And got some chick just saying shit. <laughs> the phone, to the phone connect. <laughs> she Yo, was on the call. <laughs> this is why Rory can't leave it. Can, can you turn this off so we can keep the number one podcast? <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing, doing the deep dive on the Shine Collect Call album. But, Rory. Uh, speaking of me working at Def Jam, my first call ever that I picked up was from Shine from Belize looking for someone at Def Jam. And I tried to connect the call and nobody would take it. <laughs> they told me to hang up. Damn. You hung up on Sean? Listen, bro. It was my first day. <laughs> That's a rough first day. <laughs> That's yo, and he, I, could, ba- I could barely understand him, and then I heard him finally get out, it's Sean. I was like, nah, this can't be Sean. <laughs> no, it's Sean. I would 100% hang up on Sean. I'm not talking to Sean. Why not? The fuck I'm talking to Sean about? Seems like if you nice work guy. at the label that he signed to... <laughs> He was like kind of signed. He had just got out of jail I, a little while ago. I'm never talking to Sean if he signed to the label. <laughs> and you worked there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to talk to a nigga. Okay. Um, damn, I was going. Oh, do y'all see L.A. Reid? Come did? on, let's go. What he did? Get Come your on. L.A. Reid hate out. Rory is crazy, man. <laughs> what L.A. Reid do? He's trying to sneak back in. Oh, he's starting a label, right? Uh, he's, no, he's, 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 it started. It started. He's sneaking. He signed, I'm about to say it's, 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 it's started. A big boy, right? He signed. He signed. He signed. Mm-hmm. Big boy. Get the credibility. I, I see if, it. If, if <laughs> L.A. Reid don't knock it the fuck off, he signed. He signed big big boy because he's got that relationship for 25 years. So that's cool. Sure. Mm-hmm. And St. John is through his imprint as well, and his imprint is being distributed through Empire. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You won't know it until you scroll to the bottom of the track list and see Hit Co. Slash. Slash. Empire. Empire. Mm-hmm. So he's indie. Mm-hmm. What do we have? Well, to em- is Empire still indie? They're kind of. Yeah. They're major. Depends indie. your definition of indie. Right. 
So if what you're on the chance side or the non-chance side. Well, I think that they have some type of situation through a major. I yeah, through Warner's. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's all through Warner. Listen, fuck what y'all talking about. LA That's why Re- Joe, was saying, LA Joe Reed, was saying he was LA independent. Reed, I was like, no, you your ain't. bum ass is down here with the civilians, nigga. <laughs> Hit my gunshot. Huh? Huh, what? Why Rory look confused? I mean, Empire's That's putting right. out a lot of good oh, shit now. It's the best the f- way to go. A- if a- I was a- an artist a- trying to sign to a, a major, I would say you should probably go through Empire. I would probably say that. Yes, Rory. I'm signed there. Now, are you done with raising your voice so I can continue cracking on L.A. Reid? Go ahead, these sir. These jokes are coming, and there's nothing you could do about it. I, know I have no tie to L.A. Reid. Yes, you do. I have That's none. Yo, I have Rory, none. Y'all don't see Rory. If L.A. Reid walked Rory in here, him like and I would have no... To, to L.A. Reid. Do you have Y'all don't see his face get a little pinkish every time. That's my natural every, complexion. Every time we talk about L.A. Reid. <laughs> That's Rory my natural from, complexion. Rory's from L.A. Reid, Def Jam. So Rory. are you. He's got some type of so are you. L.A. Reid relationship. Mm. <laughs> so do you. So he's one of the niggas that highly regards nasty, perverted, freaky ass L.A. Reid. <laughs> so that's cool if you uh, want to defend freak, I don't. Freak, freaky man. I don't. You just hate him. And I hate everything I do not. Like. Wait, I hate him? I don't hate him. Freaky I just call man. a spade a spade. <laughs> Rory freaky wants man. to fucking defend Freaky Man. Defend Freaky Man. <laughs> Listen, man, Lil B called you a nasty man, so you might be up there. <laughs> well, Joe is a nasty man. Yeah, that was kind of like on That was point. the funniest diss ever. Wait. How you get called a nasty man <laughs> in a rat beef. <laughs> You nasty old man. Call somebody a nasty man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Stupid, man. Why uh, are we why are we letting fucking LA Reed Hey, I ain't letting LA Reed sneak back in unnoticed. He's your label the mate. Face head ass nigga. <laughs> That's your label the mate. Fuck out of here. That's your boss now. See, look at Rory. Wow. <laughs> Extra pink. <laughs> That's my natural complexion. I and, just look that and way. Listen, I'm disappointed to have to do this because both of Big Boy last albums was hard. That's true. And yeah, that St. And that Saint John album is hard. <laughs> I've heard people saying that. I haven't heard yet. It's I'm going to play it as my sleeper. It's okay. hard. Okay. But fuck L.A. Reid. <laughs> and Hit Cole. Damn. The whole la- as a label and as, as a staff. As a label, a staff? as a staff, as a company <laughs> and a fucking organization. You think I'm going to let that slide? L.A. Reid single-handedly changed everything about music and just to creep back through the back independent door and be LaFace with us at Empire? Seems smart to if me. If you don't get L.A. Reid the fuck out of here, <laughs> seems Empire. Like a, seems like a business savvy yeah, move. fuck L.A. Reid. <laughs> you gonna run up in the office? No, I've never been. I've been to Empire. Is that? <laughs> what, like once to sign and then leave? I love Empire. I do too. This is the first thing they've done that I've looked at like, eh, but I understand it from a business side. Yeah, but sure. fuck L.A. Reid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe LaFace is on Empire. Nobody want to talk about it. Yo, am I the only honest media guy around here? <laughs> Let's talk about that too. Huh? Hold up, man. My fucking gunshots out here. Niggas just fucking. Yo! <laughs> stop, stop muting it. God damn it. Fucking LaFace. All right. <laughs> it's it's Hitco, not LaFace. It's word. Hit, Hitco. Put some respect on that Hitco <laughs> name. Hitco is kind Hitco. of Hitco. A... He's already Hitco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he went with that. Uh, do there we care is. about Black China fighting in Six Flags? Before I get into this, why the fuck is Black China always in Six Flags with a young boyfriend? <laughs> she loves Six Flags. Young, That's where young, you take young people like Six she Flags. Out of, she, she, Black China was not dressed appropriately for Six, six Flags, number one. <laughs> Number two, she had mad people with her to avoid getting an altercation and still got an altercation. When have you seen Black China appropriately dressed for uh, Six Flags? Uh, for Six Flags? No, I haven't. But I've seen her appropriately dressed before. Yeah, when she was up filing her case against Rob Kardashian. <laughs> she had worn that same suit to the Superman ride? <laughs> If I'm Rob Kardashian, I'm pretty happy about <laughs> about all of this. I'm taking. You know how hard it is to get uh, custody of of your child from like a woman as a man. Yeah, yeah. as a man. Yeah. Oh, it's like fucking can't do it. Right. You yeah, have to hire insane. private eyes and all that shit. Black China just out here wilding in public. <laughs> that nigga Rob is like, what? Call the lawyer. <laughs> do you think that was was that his daughter's little push? What's the thing called? The strollers? That uh, she was swinging? Would have had to been. Would have had to been. I thought maybe she just found one laying around. No, nah, no, nah, I think it was. I'm not sure if she really wanted smoke, though. I'm not angry at her because I always want to beat up a kid at Great Adventures, too. It's a pretty annoying place at a certain hour. Great Adventures is the most annoying place for a famous person to be. I guess that's why I'm confused about why she keeps going there. Mm. If you don't want to be seen 
This and wasn't her first time? When does Black China not want to be seen? altercation at Six Flags? <laughs> I'm sure Black China has been in a few altercations, but I don't know about. I'm talking about Six Flags. I don't know. I don't keep up with all of the altercations at Six Flags. More. <laughs> you don't get a newsletter? Google alerts? The media guy. Yeah, you're supposed to be up on these things. You know what's funny? Maul is calling me media guy, but you've been breaking all the news in the group chat. Mauler alert. <laughs> Joe is so corny. <laughs> I have not been breaking news in the group. Yeah, yeah. You've you kind of had the tea. Yeah, you You've had the tea, bro. Yeah. I didn't break the news. Yo, hey, hey, listeners, Maul is so offended to have the tea. <laughs> I don't know I, why, why, why. Why are you getting nervous? I never have the tea. You have. You, you have always have the tea. No, I don't. It's true. Yo, quiet is kept. Oh, uh, that's like one of your uh, anonymous weapons that you don't want people to know about. No. It's not nothing. Maul has known about my past girlfriends cheating on me before I've known about it. <laughs> Maul does always have the tea. No, I didn't. No, yes, you did. You I knew. No, you definitely told me she sure wasn't shit. Who? <laughs> he was trying to tell you without telling you. <laughs> Wait, and then Maul is the friend too. Where if you was really, really in love and like going through a hard time during the breakup, Maul is the yo fuck that bitch friend. I yeah, mean, sometimes you need yeah, that friend. What other friend am I supposed to be? Yeah, that's a good friend. I'm supposed to sit down and nah. cry with you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all like that friend? Yeah, absolutely. Nigga, get that up. Is man. The you need worst one of those friends. possible friend in the I'm world. I'm definitely nah, to get up, nah, wash no. your ass. You, you've been depressed in this bed for three days. Yeah, wash your ass, nigga. Up. Be out. All right, so let me put this in, in perspective. Maul, who his last relationship was, God knows when. Oh yeah. boy, doesn't he? Not in love currently. Doesn't <laughs> isn't really the most affectionate guy. You know, he's not the friend. To come to you uh, in your time of need and say, yo, fuck that bitch while you still missing your girl that you broke up with. That's exactly, Sometimes that's you need exactly that the guy that does That's it. exactly what you need in that Word. time. You need the forever single Especially friend to be like, cheated. come on. Yeah, she cheated on you. It's like, nigga, fuck that bitch. I think y'all disagree with everything, I think. I don't even see how we're friends. That's why, because we disagree. Y'all, y'all like that friend. Rory lie, Rory lie, because you be trying to just be cooler in front of Parks and Mall. You agree with me, nigga? <laughs> no, I don't. I think that friend you is like necessary. You like to fuck that bitch. Uh, friend you need too? that friend. You what also friend need you the, wait, so the I'm money. You need the my money. ass being the fucking great friend of your wife. No, 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 no. You need, <laughs> you need that money friend. I mean, well, yeah, you need that friend that's gonna do that. But you also need that friend. Like, come on, B. Let's get the fuck out of the house and go do some shit. Fuck that bitch. You need that friend. It's true. Let's start ranking the friends. Everybody here. needs a friend like Let, me. Let's, My let's, personal favorite is the big cool guy. No, that's not what I mean. I'm uh, talking about in relation to our, your significant other. Oh, okay. Well, the big guy, big cool guy, is also a good friend to the girlfriend usually. Yeah, that's true. The big, the big cool guy is cool with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when you say big cool, like, like, a, like a fat guy, I don't oh, know who the big cool guy. Oh my <laughs> the fat God. guy, more. What? We just mean an overweight man. No, I didn't know when you. I didn't know what y'all was talking about. Like yeah. Fat people are cool and oh, funny. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know what you were talking about. I think that's offensive to say. I know that's why I was saying <laughs> <it>. fat people. <laughs> see it up. Yeah. You can't say fat people are funny. Yeah. But yeah. what if they are in fact funny? It's offensive to say. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, you know what? Let me not just <laughs> forget, forget. let me not uh, tell anybody what I didn't know. Yeah, but you need both those friends. You need the muddy friend immediately, like right when the cheating or breakup happens. You yeah. need the muddy friend immediately. No. Nah. Next day, yeah, you might need that. Fuck that bitch. Friend, All right, I think we I think we're. I think we have two different di- different Man, definitions of the muddy friend. Bitch. Hold up, hold up. The when the, when you say muddy friend, you're saying the fuck that bitch friend is the is the muddy friend. No, 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 no. The muddy friend is the one that's going to talk you through it and say. You know, oh, try the, to give that, you oh, different, you mean. different perspectives. Mm. All uh, you need, look at you, all you you and your need two friends. You need <laughs> that friend, the one that's going to console you through this this time of of hardship, and the friend that has the hoes. Which Listen, is usually man. the fuck that bitch friend. I told But Maul don't have the hoes. He just be in there in your ear saying, fuck that bitch. She been ain't shit. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Hose. We was a family. You, you got Maul <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you got Maul twisted. I got the hoes. Maul does not have the hoes. I got the hoes. I do have the hoes. Excuse right. me, I have the ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how you know you ain't got the hoes. The, the ladies. I got, I, got the, I got the bitches. What a loser. I have the ladies. All right, what else is on Rory's fucking 5C? <laughs> uh, Wait, Rory. Does, does your college. screensaver say Palooza? It does. Oh my god! Man. Oh, uh, don't even start branding. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's strategic branding. Just because you had a kid, now that's your background. It used to be you. That's no, that's branding too, though. Don't get it twisted. You is your background. I never understood the you. I see what, I see what Joe minute. doing with his branding. Are you doing the baby? Yeah. Yeah. The baby yeah. Yeah. All the baby yeah. videos. Yeah. 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 Y
<laughs> Look at how many views we got. They want it. They want the buttons. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> they want, they the, want buttons. the buttons. Buttons. <laughs> They want the buttons. They want the buttons. Pushing our buttons. I'll be, I'll be laughing. I get a kick out of Joe's Instagram, actually. Yeah. He be oh, adding Mona uh, in the comments with a burner oh, account. Oh, <laughs> tag, tag VH1 on every... Yeah, I know. I know what Joe's doing. Strategic branding. Lex just want milk and sleep. This Word. nigga Joe propping him up to talk to a camera. Word. <laughs> Put, yeah. Putting Lay videos Lex up on down. the side. <laughs> Yo, look what he's doing. Yeah. Like, you got out. We got to outdo Assad. <laughs> Come on, Lex. That's Come on. Funny. You've been funny today. I've been funny every day, you, bro. You. Is he the executive producer of the podcast, man? Who? Lex. No. Okay. No, he is I'm not. sure if you're going with the Khaled blueprint. <laughs> no, no, he's not. Uh, what was I talking about just now? You fucked the small is stupid, man. That was, I don't even remember what he said, but that was really funny. <laughs> Why are you watching my Instagram? You think I got a little thing going on? You think something's no, happening? It's strategic branding. I get it. I'm not listening, bro. What am I? I'm, brand, I'm branding my my kid. Yes. Yeah. This is part of your. This is part of your 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 new brand. Your your re rebranding of Joe Button. Joe's just playing dumb. Mm. He know this is the, the well family thing. Doing. You're the family guy. You're trying to be the next uh, Ti Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope. No, I'm not, not. Let's hope not. trying to be <laughs> well, the next well, Ti you know, or Bill Cosby. Well, not, well, Hi, Ti. Yeah. I love Ti. Gun yeah. laws in Jersey, are but Ti did a great job of rebranding himself. 100 percent yeah so it's like kobe you know. as well yeah cosby you know so you know what's funny this is how stupid i am but i didn't i never thought that i was in dire need of a rebrand that's how unaware i was <laughs> until so you had the rebrand we, we Damn, save on bust out with the laugh <laughs> <laughs> from the side like what the yeah, fuck save on it? save on know how it was three years ago when he used to watch you on social media like this nigga's fucking crazy <laughs> Uh, I'm still crazy though. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like y'all throw out a rebrand. I'm I'm crazy I call still. You, I call you crazy every day, Joe, and you get mad at me for that. Uh, probably telling my business. Uh, what uh, else? I don't think he's telling any yeah, new no, information. It's, just it's might want to know your business, Joe. Just track seven, last album. <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> all the all the tea. Track one <laughs> from the intro. How you got all the tea about you on yeah. your album? <laughs> and they get mad when people in this business when they stop them in the street. Are you so nosy, uh, bro? I just listened to your album. <laughs> I'm just want to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Yo, some uh, y'all y'all got, y'all keep some Joe Budden jokes. I mean, you're you're easy target. Some, sometimes sometimes they're funny. Y'all are good. I give it to you. Round of applause. Thanks. The round of applause. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that round of applause. <laughs> no, no. What else is important that happened? When I came in here, I feel Did like you, so uh, much. Uh, are y'all up on the the scandal that happened at Howard? The uh, gentleman took almost half a million dollars from financial aid. Yeah, he was killing it. I'm not even mad at him. I need friends like that. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Those type of plans. Word. You fuck gotta, the fuck that bitch friend. Yeah. Who's the financial stealer? Yeah, yeah, how do you scammer friend? <laughs> yeah, like, but I'm talking about that type of scam that's, though. Like, that's the type of scammer friends I need. He got Sally. But why? Man. He blew the whole bag on himself. I mean, I'm sure he got his friends drunk. That nigga was walking around slaying. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had all the tie-in top-notch shit. They said he had like a media team. People would follow him with cameras around campus and shit, and just snap photos of him. See, he was helping his friends. <laughs> that's lit. Yeah, that's dope. If I had that budget, I would have that too. <laughs> How do you think you're not gonna get caught? <laughs> he didn't give a shit. Well, well did, has he gotten caught? Uh, I mean, he I said he's he fighting it. <laughs> Well, of course he's gonna fight it. The whole I thought they said the whole team was out there, or the whole school was out there uh, protesting for him. They were they were singing no, they were singing "Bitch, better have my money" outside of the financial aid department. <laughs> like, where's my refund check? Are you being? lying? I'm not lying. I swear to God, there's video, and they were swag surfing outside of it. <laughs> See, I hate Duce Palooza. <laughs> like, why am, did they started the swag surf shit? I, that's and we you. brought it back. We didn't start it. Why are people still swag surfing? I they seem to like it. Kids have nothing better to do. <laughs> what should we nothing be doing? Than to play, surf. Playing Monopoly? Than to, than to swag surf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what they should all be doing instead. Um, also, while we're on scams, I was watching the news this morning, so I'll, I'll share this. Uh, the scammers have breached uh, 5 million credit cards from Saks Fifth. <sighs> yeah, man. Nice. It was a stressful morning yeah, for me. It's rocking. <laughs> I, I had to call a few of my friends to make sure it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you call uh, Icy? Chill. <laughs> Icy, <chill. laughs> Icy don't got the plug no more. <laughs> nah, Icy don't got the plug. No more. Bills probably got it. Chill. Why? Come on. Word, yeah, what are we doing? With you? <laughs> it's Mad Bills. It's a common name. He's <laughs> 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 snitching on all of them. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Something really, something really important happened. I wanted to touch on. What's he? 
All right, so tell me which way y'all want to go. Uh, do y'all want to discuss uh, the serious matter of Safari being robbed at gunpoint that uh, Angie Martinez uh, interviewed him? We, we only saw a, a clip of the interview, uh, but I'm sure by the time this is out, the interview will probably be out. But we can talk about that, or we can talk about Felon Bay holding it down. What Felon Bay do? He needs an applause for Hit sure. The, found the bag. You found the bag? Yes, the he bag did. of all bags. What bag was that? That's a rebrand. The top, right there. the top hat brand. What is it called? Mm-hmm. Top uh, Shop. Top Shop, right? Billionaire. Yeah. Heiress. Oh, uh, he bagged a billionaire. She's pregnant. <sighs> Swaggy. Yeah. The bag. <laughs> They're calling him Felon Bay. They should stop calling him Felon Bay. He left his wife now, now and he's... kids <laughs> to go get another wife and kid with billions of <laughs> and bags. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> women don't. Women don't like when uh. Niggas make money moves. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I'm not. Get your coins, King. Right. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why women don't like it? What you mean? Because it's at their like expense, it. and they wonder why we don't like it when it's at our expense. He bodied that shit, and he ain't said a word since the mugshot. He he, 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 he never I, said a word. He I got some the money. He ain't say shit. I don't you know. Ain't supposed to say <laughs> nothing when you know the bag is on the line. Don't fuck it up. Can he I'm talk? Not, Does it matter? I do. That's the only time we should be talking. As soon as you get to the altar, I do. Was there a really bad headline that said, I guess crime does pay? Probably. <laughs> or if not, that was it right there. <laughs> that was really bad. You were on a roll, Roy. I was, <laughs> you that, was, on a roll. that was purposely bad. <laughs> you were on a roll. Roy, Roy. was on a roll. Well, who got the who got the uh who got the bigger glow up? Uh Felon Bay or the Suits chick who married uh Prince one of them, Prince Henry's. Prince Harry, uh, Felon Bay. Oh, I got Felon Bay for sure. You went Felon from jail Bay. to billions. I got famous off a of mugshot. Word. Yeah, that's and, true. And now I have a, a billion a, a heir heir to a billionaire's throne. Yeah, the pregnant. Shade, yeah, the shade room. Swag. And I had kids and a wife before. Did that girl really think he was gonna pull out? The shade room. Was she that dumb? They should have signed him. <laughs> <laughs> they should have signed him. Yeah, they should have Mona Scott and <laughs> Felon Bay. <laughs> they, 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 right they broke that nigga. Yeah, they did. Um, but congrats to him. All right, come on, let's let healthy pregnancy. Congrats to him. Yeah, round of yes. applause. More for life, healthy, life. healthy yeah. king or queen. Yes, more life, more life, <laughs> more life. Um, Family goals. I hate that I say um so much. I really do. Work on. It. I speak too well to um. I only say it because y'all are trash. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, love how, I love how passive aggressive Joe Button is. <laughs> Don't say my whole name more. That is your name, <laughs> Media the, Man, Rage, whatever you go by today. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, with Media? Why you keep Media Man in me? Because you, because we, we follow yourself. Ian on Instagram. <laughs> you like am I the most honest ask. Media Man in New York? <laughs> <laughs> that was you twenty minutes ago. You know, I did the fam. I did the. I did a whole family tree of New York media, and uh, maybe it's my narcissism, but it all comes back to me. <laughs> That's your narcissism. You have a lot of free time. Not true. Yeah. Not true. And these mad people are swag surfing. You make family trees in your off time? <laughs> I've known I've known Charlemagne from South Carolina in two thousand and one before he was ever on New York radio. And that's how he got on. And I just told by knowing and, you. I, and I and I yeah, in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> in, in my story. Oh my God. And I told him he would be great on New York oh, Radio. So that's and all what it do took. you know? He's great on New York radio. And, you got Rory. and then he got hired at Breakfast Club. Peter Rosenberg Rory. bumped into him in DC and that some fucking off brand station somewhere. I don't remember, but they're not there anymore. And he was good. And I said, damn it, you'd be good in New York. And what do you know? He's good in New York. Well, Joe, here's the thing. <laughs> Let's see who else. Andy if you tell everyone they'll be good on New York radio, Angela. Chances are someone's gonna be good on New York radio. Bro, act anybody moving in New York media, I, I, I'm related to somehow. Because you related you know to them? Yes. None of these people you on their show. We know all of them. None too. of these people like you. <laughs> You're banned. <laughs> You're banned. Yeah, like, but to get banned, you'd about? have to know them. You're banned from the club. <laughs> so are you. I never wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see a mall breakfast club interview. Why? <laughs> God, no. I would like to see that. I just no. would. Um, all right, so wait. All right, Safari. Let's get to Safari. Safari, we don't know much, so we can't, we can't say much. But Safari was robbed at gunpoint. This is per Angela, uh, Angie Martinez. Uh, and that's all we know. I don't know was, where Was he I on the way to Angie? Because he sounded no, still no. pretty shook up after it happened. Yeah. Like right? it must have been pretty. Well, getting the gun in recent. your face is never really. Uh, you Very know, true. It's hard to bounce But back it from felt that like quick. this shit happened in the lobby, <laughs> the way he was talking. It probably happened in a lobby. 
I don't know, man. Safari. I don't know what they took, but he said they took everything. I don't know what everything means. So he got robbed and still went and did a radio interview? Yeah. The guy that played Biggie got shot and did the interview when he was shot. The guy that played Biggie? Yeah, in the Tories movie. What's his name? He's a rapper. Oh, uh. Gravy? Gravy, yeah. Gravy, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it works in your favor. Where's Gravy? It's chilling. He's played in like six or seven Born other rice. big movies. <laughs> Say Vaughn, I'll trust the intern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you pulling up? Are you pulling oh, up the uh, Yeah, no, there's the video. I'm showing it to Maul. Well, so, plug it in if you so want. So what hear. I could say here, oh yeah, let's plug it in. Plug it in, Maul. Plug, plug it in and uh, play it. <laughs> Maul. No, wait. Y'all Can you stop laughing? I know. Oh, man. Anytime we talk about uh, so, there, so there is some more it. some more details rather than what we had heard before. Oh, we good. Recording. Uh, so oh, essentially, the cool. gentleman that did rob him followed him from his gig last night and held him at gunpoint. Two men have been caught and another got away. Safari's friends set him up, but I don't know if he knows that information yet. What publication is this, Sabon? <laughs> uh, police said two men in an Escalade with no plates in New Jersey uh, caught him by the George Washington Bridge. That's all I can say for now, according to whoever this is. That sucks. So do, do, so, I, that's, do you want me to play this? Yeah, play it. Uh, so Safari is my guest today. What's happening, first of all? Are you okay? I love um, Angie's voice. I just... Oh, man. <laughs> Ma. I just got robbed. Turn it up, Ma. It's up. Oh. The park's is trash. What do you mean just now? Just like right now? A couple, a couple hours ago, I just got robbed. Like... Two dudes with guns just ran up on me. Had me face down on the floor with a gun to my head. They just took everything. All right, so that that's what we have. Um, Rory says that Fame says that this was set up by someone he knows. That's what it, it sounded like, yeah. It's not very nice. Well, I mean, usually it's somebody you have some relation to because they know where you're at all the time. That's true. But listen, I've been a supporter of Safari on the show, but I don't think he needs to be running around with that much jewels and his shirt off and a fur coat every day in public and showing where he is and didn't think something like this might happen. That is the lesson here. I agree with everything you just said. Safari doesn't know how to move at all. No, here's the lesson. Why are you going to do an interview right after you got robbed and crying with Angie? The show must go on, more. No, it must not. If I just got robbed, I'm staying home. Everything is canceled until I figure out what the fuck just happened. I mean, have you listened to Angie's no. interviews? She is pretty good at like I'm not going <laughs> to Angie after people. somebody just had a gun in my head. That's nah. the the last thing on my mind is doing an interview. Like that's the last thing. I'm going home. I'm ch- I don't want to be around nobody. But he was home when he got robbed. He got robbed in his house? No. But he lives by the bridge. And if they followed him from wherever he was, then they caught him by his crib. Okay, well, well, I'm not going to do an interview on radio if, after I been, got robbed. And if he's been set up by someone he knows, then they caught him at his crib. Young people, millennials, here's a very valuable lesson that I myself would not have known if I did not meet and hang out uh, with killers uh, in my 20s. And this is a lesson that maybe don't really is not so applicable today, but I'll share it anyway. You have to play the mirrors always. You always have to play your mirrors. I know that they say good drivers have to play the mirrors, but that's not the kind of play the mirrors that I'm talking about, if you can read between the lines. Um, uh, That's a common occurrence to be followed, especially when the the jig is there, when when, when you're being set up. Uh, Especially if you're running around with a lot of money around your neck safari has been running around with a lot of jewelry on as of late i i said that to myself when him and berg were together somewhere or him and somebody was together envy and envy was super 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 icy and so was safari i know why envy is super super icy i wasn't sure why safari was that icy i see him pretty often and in his regular downtime he's not walking around like that but the big fur coats, Safari is already 6'3". He's not a short person. My point is he's easily identifiable. He, he is famous. He is famous. There's this new age thing going on where, where and I'm not, not a clout thing, but where we just do the most for attention. I'm not saying Safari, but just today, 
That's a thing. The Internet has made people do the most for attention. There's still some people that came up in a different generation around today. Just because they don't Instagram or tweet or speak regularly, they're still out there. So when you are running around with a fur coat on and jewels doing the hundred dance, you have to be aware that you are being watched. Everybody is not having a grand time in life. Everybody is not fortunate enough to run to a club and pick up a quick bag. Let me tell you something. I'm not the only nigga that has noticed. Hey, on this podcast a few weeks ago, maybe over a month ago, I said, and we brushed it off like we normally brush Joe off when he speaks about things in advance. But I said, hey, is anybody? I'm getting tired watching Safari's Instagram. I said, it's, exa- it's exhausting to me. Mm. He's, he's somewhere every day. And I said that as a big up. And then two weeks later, he went to the hospital for exhaustion. Let me tell you people while you are out there collecting your bags that health is important. The health has to come first or the bag will stop. So that happened. I hit him. He said he was good. And then he kept running around. The fur's out and all of this shit. Niggas have to move a lot wiser today. I guess that's the long-winded version of what I'm attempting to say. And if you moved wiser, these things would happen less. Yeah, but from what the story's saying, his friends set him up. So there's no way to move if your friend's... Set you up. Sure, there is it's because I happen. think the word friend is used rather loosely amongst millennials. Yeah, well, I that's mean, true. you know, that's so. Then there's nothing to be said. So yeah, far, but... I can say that Safari is probably one of the gentlemen who uses the word friend too loosely. Safari is one of those people. Him, Ak, my son, they have this common trait of this this certain innocence. It's it's an innocence that doesn't exist with people that grew up when we grew up. How old is Safari? Safari is of age. He's thirty something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he upbringing, know what it upbringing, is. more, upbringing, more. He's up, from Brooklyn. More, don't do Queens? that. Don't do that more. Don't do that more. Don't do that. Don't do that more. Don't do that. Listen, he not. He I'm from the streets. About upbringing more. Come on, more. Don't do that. It's Safari from the streets. It's it, Safari it, it, from the streets. Is he not? His family. Wait, no. His far, no, he's not more. His family is from Brooklyn. Great, but come. I'm, we talking about the streets. Upbringing. Safari. Grew, street, where did he grow up at? Safari, where, where do it matter? Safari Street. Nigga, it does matter where you grew up at. It's Safari Street. Nigga, he grew up in the hood. I don't know. All right, then. You got to answer. Those are questions we need to know. No, I wouldn't give a fuck if he grew up in the city of gods. But I'm saying that nigga is not a a street nigga. Not saying he's a street nigga, but he knows what goes on. He's not he's not blind to the bullshit. Safari stood in front of a Los Angeles club talking to DJ Self. Okay. During All Star Weekend. What's wrong with that? (laughs) I'm done with one. What's wrong with that? You can't stand outside of a club and talk to somebody? No, not when you have beef with the 30 niggas that are pulling up. No, He, he didn't know they was pulling. That's, that's what, circumstances. That, he didn't know that. It's all going to be circumstantial to, if you I'm don't not, know how to move. You're going to always saying, get put listen, in the predicament man, I don't know, you know Safari how personally. I don't, I'm not going to say he don't know how to move. I know he's of age to know what goes on. You know that he's six foot that. three and he wears colorful yeah, fur. Every, anybody could get coats. robbed. Though. That don't mean nothing. Not any Anybody can get robbed. Anybody, whether That's you know true. how to move or not, you can get robbed. My thing is, you going on radio right after you get robbed and crying about it. I'm not mad at that. That what? Well, I'm not. Mad. Well, you have a thing about men crying. Period. No, I, not and about men especially crying. being recorded. Not, yeah, that to me, that's <laughs> weird. I'm not going to do an interview and I'm crying and I just got robbed. What are you doing? That what I'm going it? home. I'm going somewhere uh, and I'm being yeah, by myself. I'm, I'm probably gonna go home. I'm, I'm not, not going doing to the radio. No fucking interview. After a gun was in my face, yeah, I'm probably not going to the radio. I'm not interview. staying in the spot where the gun was put in my face. I, no, I agree. <laughs> but I'm also, that doesn't mean the only other place if is a power rob, If a nigga so robbed me. I have to go sit in, in front of Angie and cry. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably go find my friends fuck? that also have firearms. Right. Yeah, I'm right. not going to do, all of that celebrity shit is canceled. I'm not going to do no fucking interview after a gun was just in my face. And I'm definitely not going to be doing the interview while I'm still shaking and crying. I'm not none, doing None that. of Rory's friends better have firearms and do city to city. City festivals. <laughs> well, actually, not, someone should. <laughs> not on the ones that we fly to. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, that's why you got to have somebody to drive to those things. <laughs> that's, <a freaking> <laughs> <laughs> that's why you check in. See, yeah. True. Um. All right. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to Safari, and I ho- and I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay too, man. Just tell that him is a traumatic. That is a traumatic experience. Um. 
And that's how you know he's crying about it, Mom. Come on, he's not. Which is why I said he shouldn't nothing, have been. I'm not saying nothing say, wrong with him. I'm just. Saying, I'm not you know saying. Not I didn't say nigga. anything is wrong with him crying. He got. He just had a gun in your face. No, that's, no I know, but you were. I'm, I was saying my point was Safari is not a street nigga, so you have to be more aware. And then you started asking me a bunch of like where he's from and his family because that that plays a part in it. You know how to move if and when you was born and raised in a certain area. You niggas, know the niggas, dangers that go on. Let me tell you something. Niggas robbed me in broad daylight on 145th Street. <laughs> That's why I'm saying you can be robbed anywhere. Hey, it was a precinct right there. <laughs> Yo, every time I, it, it was getting active, it was always a precinct right there. I don't know why people feel safe around precincts. Because the cops don't think nothing's going on right there. Yeah. <laughs> They're out. I ain't going to lie. That nigga had balls on 145th in the daytime. Did you go see Angie right after? No. All right. All right. No. Case closed. <laughs> No, I didn't. But, I mean, in his defense, I didn't have an interview scheduled. I don't think that's the weirdest party, but I understand what Maul is saying. Other things should probably take yeah. priority. Yeah, it's right? like, man, fuck that interview. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> but then again, I face. could understand thinking of, let me let me, let me me get this out before, before it leaks or before it comes out. That's, see, that's my problem. Who cares about, I don't give a fuck about All the kids, and foot and stories. All the kids do. If... Safari's not a kid. Stop calling him a kid. No, that is a grown ass. He plays, plays, he plays to him. that crowd. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I don't care what crowd he. He's a grown fucking man. He's thirty something years old. I think that people are as old as the crowd that they are marketing man, to. Man, get the f- listen. That's because uh, Ack is 20, 28. I don't care how old Ack is. Ack is a, he's a, he's a hybrid. He's one of these new 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 type of niggas that's running around out here. I don't. I'm not. I'm never talking to people like him. I let them do what they do. I'm t- Safari knows how to move. I don't know Safari well, but I know that he knows how to move. I know that he's around niggas that know what's going on in the streets and niggas that's active in these streets. That I know. Mall alert. So I'm not saying that crying is not, cry. You shaking up? I understand it, but doing an interview? Nah, come on, fam. Nah, you can't do no interview after you just got robbed like that and you you that shaking. I'm not saying days later you can't go up to Angie and kick it, but hours later, nah. I still got to get my shit to, Obviously I'm still shaking up I'm getting low I'm not ready That's to do no interview I'm, I'm going to go pull up my safari He does sound shaking up As he should be that, That's a scary thing To get a gun put in your face That ain't nothing To play with I have to know where this happened It's it said. It's tough for that <laughs> well, Jersey to, It's obviously. real tough for that To happen on Lemoyne I don't think that was Lemoyne I want to find out uh-huh. Think of that whole area. There's a whole bunch let, of let, let's, cut let's, talk, let's, let's talk for a second. It's a complicated area. When you yeah, cross, yeah, yeah. when you really cross the bridge, the coming key, into New Jersey, yeah. the key part is he was set up, so it could be at his house. That's what I'm saying. It, it could be. It could be. I don't think it was outside in the open. It could be in the house somewhere. Shit, it a nigga is that is not happening on Lemoyne. Impossible. Impossible. Because mm. on Lemoyne. This is what happens on on Lemoyne, especially at night. You know the you know the cops. It's by the bridge. You get pulled yeah, over. It's so by, it's, it's yeah, by right, five right. miles the, over the, the limit. You get pulled over. Right. So there is cops. There are cops there stationed twenty four seven, especially in the nighttime. Yeah, you're right. Niggas pull me over over there for not cutting the blinker on. So black black men over. It's just very difficult for you to be outside on Lemoyne and Fort Lee. Yeah, and, but there's a lot of little cut a, streets over there. They said a uh, Escalade without plates. Going over the GW, yeah, that's true. That's nuts. That's true. It's like terror alert over at the GW. Right, something with no plates. That's, no, that's plates. crazy. That's but if it's if it's off of one of those side streets, that's that's all feasible. Yeah, yeah when you when you come off the, the bridge, the hills and all that shit. Yeah, I mean people. The, and that's, no one cares and that, what we're talking about right now because they don't live in New Jersey. <laughs> They're probably so confused right now. You're right. Yeah. If he got caught on one of those set side blocks, that's probably what Because you do have to take a side block. He probably got caught in his house or like. Outside the house, like coming into the crib, or yeah, he was. Uh, they saying he was set up. It's probably right in his crib or in his drive, his, his garage, whatever. Like pulling in some shit like that. Uh, we'll keep you posted. I'm gonna try to pull up on that nigga, man, because he did sound shaking up. Uh, and that's all we got, man. Yeah, some people said we need to start bringing back the "Is it over for" segment. And if we did, I have at least twenty names that we should talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Run them I'm, off. I'm, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come no, on, media no, man. No, we, yo, would y'all stop with the media man? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. He today. calls himself media man and Word. tells us. Well, why do y'all keep saying I call myself media man? You, just you said, do. It might I, be in your when, Twitter bio. When I am addressing the, the fans, like why y'all trying to make me cornier than I am? Joe, you called yourself media man. 
You said, am I the most honest media man? Don't, in- but but why you think it's okay to call me that? Because I call myself that. <laughs> what you mean? Don't do that. If you keep referring to yourself as something, I'm I want, okay. That's I want what you want to be. All right. <laughs> All right. So if I start referring to myself as, if I just start making up names for myself, you rocking with it? Whatever you'd want to be, bro. You can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> Done with mom. Rory, do you have any important announcements that we need to get to? Did you buy a new mm. beard butter or some shit? Do we no, need to I've, know about- I've stayed with the same one for few years now i ran out gotta hit lush thanks so all we got man i'm getting the fuck out of here uh i hope that we did not offend anyone hopefully not too many news stories break this week i thought that this would be a really crazy week for the news cycle but i I could be wrong (laughs) i could be wrong i'm open to being wrong about that uh so i'm getting out of here i'm out uh roseanne tonight i'm still not over that uh well, they'll know by tomorrow, but who y'all got in the uh, NCAA championship tonight? Nova by 14. Damn. I got Michigan. Nigga said 14. <laughs> That's what? Damn. Michigan struggled with Loy- Loyola. And, and Villanova had their way with Kansas. And you think they're about they to did. shoot like that again? Absolutely. Yeah. They locked in. Locked in. When you see the ball <laughs> going like that, it's over. I know, but I'm saying you think they're going to be that locked in and the ball's going to go in that way again. I don't later. think they're going to hit that many threes, but they're, they're going to beat them by 14. It's going to be a, a easy, not an easy, but they're going to win by 14. All right. Hit more when he's wrong about this shit. Uh, I don't think we're doing afterthoughts this week because I want to see the game. <laughs> Bro, what time is it now? The game is coming on. Oh, yeah. It starts at what, 920? Oh, shit, we got sleepers. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, dying man. to get out of here. Come on, let's play these fucking sleepers and get the fuck yeah, out of here, man. Good, man. Uh, I like the Monday vibe of a podcast. I do. I love Mondays. Yeah, Mondays are awesome. Uh, I mean, I could just keep playing Shine more or less. Yeah, Rory. <laughs> Rory. Um, so you know what? I'll go first. Fuck it. Um, Rory, what are you playing? I'm going to play something off that St. John shit. Uh, Sabrina Claudio just put out a record, but... I had already picked my sleeper by the time she put it out. So yeah, she maybe did. I'll play that next week. And Claudio's a goddess. She's that, great. That record is hard that she put out. Um, what's it called? All to you. Yeah, I think she had sent me that. Oh, her manager sent me that record before, and it was hard before. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna play a record by. I, I always I always pronounce this guy's name as Gordon Banks, and every time I do, he gets angry about it and tweets me, and he loves the fact that I support him so, but he hates how I mispronounce his name. What's his name? He says it's pronounced Jordan Banks, but it's G-U-O-R-D-A-N Banks. I mean, I just thought it was funny because I am the last person that should mispronounce anyone's name. I should know how much that ticks people off. Um, So I'm going to play this record off of his album called Unpopular. Uh, And this, this album is an old album. And this song is called Dear Friend. It's a vibe. <laughs> Dear friend, I hope everything's going alright with you. I know I thought I'd be spending my life with you. I know we said it would never be the end. Run to your family, I didn't do right by you. But I can't continue living a lie with you Something I gotta do, yeah, yeah I know it's hard to finally say goodbye Oh, I I, I, I hope to see you on the other side We try, we try, we try All those times I've tried for you Thought that we would make it
That was off that unpopular album that is called Dear Friend featuring Sonye Alisi, I think her name is. And that's from Jordan Banks. Dear Friend, hope you enjoyed it. Who's going next? Rory or Maul? I'll go. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this is um, Childish Major, uh, I Like You, featuring Drum and Black. Okay. <laughs> hey, she say she fucked the nigga to my song and was trying to get it on and catch that feeling, but didn't feel it. I said pull up on me doll, I'll fuck your brains out Matter of fact, I'll pick you up like I'm your man now You play my shit in the ride, I'll go staring in your eyes I like you It's always better when I'm high, I drove, rubbing on your thighs I like you Ain't none of your friends' business, ain't none of your friends' business What we do, we do. Ain't, ain't none of your man's business, ain't none of my girls' business What we do, we do. I like you Yeah Hey baby, I like you Doing 35 in the 85, trying to see what's up with a 6'9. Doing 35 in the 85, trying to see what's up with a 6'9. Hey, 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 Ain't none of your friends business, ain't none of your friends business What we do, we do. Ain't, ain't none of your man's business, ain't none of my girl's business What we do, we do. I like you Yeah Hey baby, I like you I fuck with you, you know. Pull up real smooth in the two though. You can have the 
the world if you want So you wanna be my girl or you don't That come with repercussions, real discussions Think you bluffing, put your money way on my face Tryna put you on some real shit You love her so much but you stepping outside the tape It's funny cause I know I'm next and he really your age That's me, jumping out the window I got too much shit to live for We be out here hiding shit Don't be out here fucking up the vibe and shit I know you like this shit, yeah Ain't none of your friends business Ain't none of your friends business We do We do Yeah Ain't none of your man's business Ain't none of my girl's business What we do I lie Hey baby, I like you. Childish Major, I like you, featuring Drama and Black. <clears throat> that was dope. You know who produced that? I don't, I don't know who, who produced that. Drama. That beat was dope. All right, I'm going to play uh, St. John. Should I play Some Nights or Selfish? I'll keep the BPMs up Shout since I'm going John, less. Uh, all right, this is St. John off his new project. This record's called Selfish.
Selfish. I like that record. That's probably my favorite song on that album. And I was really sad that he had to be from L.A. Reid's camp. <laughs> Some Nights is also really dope off that project. Roy, enough. I was just <laughs> telling people what's, what's good on the project to check it out. It is a good project and check it out. I Did you guys know. see uh, Sophia the Body saying that oh my Beyonce God. fucked her way to the top? Oh, wait. That was what was on my list. <laughs> That, that was, was the that I was that was a real important topic on Sophia. my list that I didn't write. <laughs> so wait, play that clip. Body. You got the clip? Uh, wait, yeah, be, I, I retweeted we, it. Today. Before we leave, just play the clip. And Sophia we, the body we fucked her way weird. I kind of feel like I broke that story this Sophia, morning. Sophia Sophia <laughs> body really confused me about about what a hoe was. See, this will be a good afterthoughts. Well, the hoes, were, the hoes were always. Confused <laughs> we're not going to do well. afterthoughts. So we're this is your after, this is your afterthoughts, this is afterthoughts. in the podcast. <laughs> This is like the holes. Mom always... wants to see the game. I want to see my baby, and Rory wants to look out his window. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> damn they, it! They deleted it. Oh, Blogzilla, Blogzilla! Why did you delete that oh, clip? You knew oh, she was getting killed. Oh wait, man! No, Savon, find the clip, man. Blogzilla can't stop. Savon, us. call Beyonce <laughs> and find the clip, man. <laughs> look, look at Savon hey. body. It's, hey, we got a clip. We got a clip of Sophia body explaining to us. What a hoe is, and it's just a little confusing, so I'm oh, going to play it before we get out of here. Do you have the uh, the adapter thing? We have the adapter thing. I don't Roy. think this is the full clip, though. How this long is, is that clip? 45 seconds. Nope, the other one was like... That's the one I saw. Oh, okay. That was long just, just enough. Just take, take, the, take the phone. Uh, let's see here. I hate that you got... I saw the, the full, like... I think it was like two minutes and 30 seconds of her explaining everything. Nah, I never want to hear Sophia Body for two minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds. All right, here we go. It did. It kind of still does when people are talking about me and it's not true i don't give a fuck what you say about me if it's true yeah you know what i'm saying we have to pause that that that's a lie when people say that <laughs> i might give a fuck more you do, if yeah. it's true you do care if it's, if it's true it that's a bold face lie sophia the body i don't care now, a lot of guys will be like hey come let's work and then try to fuck how do you deal with oh, that's that that's my line <laughs> let's work i mean a lot of guys. Lie. It works better if you fuck. Wait. Like everybody fucks. By the way, to get to in the, the top. full clip, she it, said she wasn't a hoe before that, and she couldn't understand why people were calling her a hoe. And then what, said it's easier you know if you Even just Beyonce fuck. Beyonce did it, Madonna. But you have to own that shit. Um, but but for me, for me personally, like I've gotten mad shit without doing that. I just figured out why I love the podcast that we do. Because y'all put me in tune with this shit I would never know about. Word. <laughs> I would never listen to that. You would never know that well, you don't Sophia the, the Body thinks that yeah, I would Beyonce never click on anything that song. says Sophia the Body. I wouldn't click on it. It's just certain shit I just don't click on. Like I see it and I'm just like, I don't give a fuck about I'm that. You more. But saying that Beyonce fucked her way to the top is crazy. Anything Sophia the Body says is crazy. No, but that that <laughs> is that is crazy. Like, I wouldn't even care. So Beyonce's not talented? Like her talent didn't take her... Places. Hove might have fucked has, his has way to the Beyonce, top. Has Beyonce, has Beyonce had Hove might have used her. Wow. Yeah, has Beyonce had relations with guys? Absolutely. Every woman has relationships with guys. Yeah, I like, I like mature, guys. mature mall today. We got to start recording <laughs> no, on saying, Mondays. No, no, you know what it is? You <laughs> just got to... it'll be wild no, again. Yeah. Just, you you got to really think about some things that people... That, like, I don't really comment on a lot of shit that people say because... I, this era, this weird shit. People just feel like they. Everybody has a like. Everybody feel like they have a platform. Once you have, well, Wi-Fi, everybody has a platform. Everyone does. They all think their voice everybody, is important. Everybody doesn't have a platform though. Everybody has access to social media, but that doesn't mean you have a platform. Like even some of these pseudo celebrities feel like they have a platform. No, you don't. You don't have a platform. Like your what, what, what shit that you say is irrelevant. Like you say shit like that. Like <laughs> no, seriously. Like you say shit like that because you know what that's gonna do. And that to me that that's why this era is so weird to me because mm. she probably doesn't I don't really think she's feel that, like that. I don't think she's that about calculated. Beyonce. I'm not giving she, that to her. <laughs> you you would be surprised. I well, don't think Sophia the body calculated that she <laughs> people no people sit was home use and they that. know when they're going to do interviews and podcasts shit like that and they know what they're going to say for shock value. 
That's like a new thing. People know what to say that's going to spread like wildfire. And yeah, then they get right. home because I, I agree, but not with her. They get in their different circle. <laughs> they they, they, they get in their private talking. circles and they say, yeah, that shit is going viral. Like people right. are playing themselves to go viral. People are saying shit they don't believe to go viral. People people are doing corny shit to so, go viral. That's that's why I hate this new, I mean, not that it's a new word, but it's become more popular, the clout thing. If yeah. that's clout, I don't want anything to do with clout. I'm not mad. If I'm, clout is internet clicks, I'm totally cool but on that's clout. The, that's oh, wait, what people I'm, are on. Now, that's that we're the talk, well, now that we're talking about new age slang, can y'all tell me what cap is? Cap. Well, what is? Cap means like... Oh, cat, like pussy? No. <laughs> like cat? You pussy? No, no. Cap. No, cap. cap. Yeah. Oh, I have not. I think that means like no bullshit or like I'm serious. Like, but like what's real, the origin like, of, of I think no cap is supposed to be like real talk. Like like dead, I, I, like dead ass. But what's the origin of it, you know? I'm not cap. It's a southern thing. thoughts. I think I it's know. from like Georgia, Atlanta, maybe. It might be Atlanta. Atlanta no thing. cap. I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. I, I believe that's what it is. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. But it, I, when I see certain guys say in the interviews, it feels like dead ass or real yeah, it feels talk. Like a dead it, ass. it feels like, you know what I mean? It feels like that. All right. I just want to know what the kids are saying. I don't know. People clown New York slang, but it makes mad sense to me. I think every New York slang you could. Like tell why we say that, right? I like all there's the a little, definition to everything that we say. I like all the little memes breaking down all the things that New York slang means. But we're New York, we're biased in New York anyway. So yeah, we, but I think those jokes are getting a little old. Sophia the nah, body Tim should never. Jokes are always funny. Nah, I think those jokes are trash. I, yeah, I think a lot of New York jokes are ass, but I'm biased. All right, well, did Sophia body fuck her way to the top? That's the problem when she's at the top. When, when, top when, what? That is one. That's the problem when you decide to fuck your way to the top, but don't end up near the top. <laughs> Word. You can't that, fuck that, your way to the media. No, that's, you can fuck your way to, that's where that's, fuck your way to the media. That's where talent comes you in. Fuck, yeah. You can fuck your way to a Mona check. The, that's why you got to give no, yourself more. The, pre, more props depending to. on what the Mona check is, though, that could be the top for some people. Oh, oh no, absolutely. that is the top for some people. Hell, Don't that is their ass. Up. That's their ten year goal. Yeah, like that's like, their main. That is their their cap. dream. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> their yeah. cap. Is that yeah. really people's goals? What? Absolutely. Yeah, no cap. To get on <laughs> Love and Hip Hop? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I people, could, some I people gotta, really feel like yes, I, I that's can. It. I can run off a slew of names. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. And you know I can because I said slew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga ain't lying when he say slew. <laughs> that's not a word you pull out when it's like false I'm gonna go home and, and think of some chicks that fuck their way to the medium there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of chicks that fuck their way to yeah. the, to the why don't we ever talk about that there's, there's, there's a lot of chicks that fuck of, their way to the bottom yeah there's fuck a lot the of way that just yeah. chicks that just fuck their way <laughs> they, never they, just fuck. they just fuck their way like I'm gonna fuck that's it <laughs> I have no plan after the fuck like this is it yeah chicks don't be having a plan no I'm telling y'all, if I was a chick, chicks don't man. be having plans. Chicks don't be having real talent. Like that's why it's like you saying Beyonce fucked her way to the top. What are you talking about? Oh wait, so at another time, there, there's a slew of the love and hip hop uh, retired strippers and bartenders that are rapping now. And and wait, we knew that part, but they're getting like they got ghostwriters who make pretty good music. And some of these chicks now have pretty good music. Yeah, I just want to point out. That little growing trend. I said that before, and, and nobody paid me any mind, but now there's more of them. It's not just Naya and what's the little dream doll, Chinese, Chinese Kitty. Chinese Kitty got a record, yeah. That well, song well, is hard. Well, yeah, well, Why yo, is Chinese yo, Kitty yo, so hard? Why do you guys hard? know who Chinese Kitty is? I was is? following her before because her Love her and Hip Hop her and her shit. mom were on Love and Hip Hop Miami fighting with Scrappy and Pretty Ricky's. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. It's coming. Yeah, I was <laughs> following her before that it's Love and Hip Hop shit, and she did a little snippet of her in the studio, and I clicked it because I thought I was going to laugh at her, and I said, this shit is kind of fire. And the song is hard. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. Yeah, that's the, but, car, that's the Cardi Well, part. no, that's why that was my only hate with the Cardi thing. I was like, damn, now every Absolutely. stripper is going to think she's a rapper every fem- now. Every, every female in Love & Hip Hop is now an artist. And I'm sitting home with a chick from Love & Hip Hop and a deadly pen. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser I am. No what with a loser. A, Sin is there with a hard-nosed vet <laughs> right in her fingertips. <laughs> a hard-nosed vet right in her face. <laughs> Nose to nose. <laughs> hard nose to hard nose. Hard, hard nose to soft nose. She's she's a hard nose rookie oh, trying right. to make her way. All right, everyone. Soft, I want I want I want soft, soft nose mom. Because <laughs> you can't have a hard nose and be a mom. Yeah, that's. Cool, I want right. to thank you guys. It's been a great podcast today. I'll see, see you guys next week. I would strategically market Sing's record. Yeah, like you did trade. <laughs> Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Got him views. Got a lot of players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta get him a deal now.
I'm going to go through L.A. Reid. <laughs> this kid is killing <laughs> This kid needs a deal. Parks, please put some drums on this, and we can put it out tomorrow on the SoundCloud page. Jersey House. It is nobody, sugar daddy. Me, me either, kid. I feel him. Me either. No, 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 no,